Hello, everyone, and welcome to Critical Role, where uh, a handful of voice actors uh, join some fantastic guests to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining us for a special Giving Tuesday one shot that was shaped by your donations to our current fundraising campaign for the Critical Role Foundation and Red Nose Day. So, all donations made right now and through future donations to Critical Role Foundation will continue to support Red Nose Day's mission to provide vital resources to children facing poverty around the world. So we cannot thank you enough for your donations, sharing our fundraising campaign updates with your community around you, and even just watching or listening to our game today. And because you're all so very wonderful, every dollar donated to our campaign now through November 28th at midnight Pacific will be matched up to $250,000 by Comic Relief US. Whoa. So to donate or share our campaign, please visit critroll.com slash rednoseday. Um, we do have a number of fun people at the table here. Let's go and do a quick introduction for what we have. Uh, starting on this side, we have Laura Bailey! Hey. 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 The table. Hello. Uh, next to you, we have uh, one of our first of two first-time guests at the table, Tony Hale! Hello. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, over here, I know, uh, uh, sadly, Liam O'Brien wasn't able to join us. Uh, fill in. But, our very own Sam Regal has graciously offered to join the you table suck, Sam. in his place. I suck! Yeah! Uh, but thank you so much for, for making it happen, Sam. Thank you. Uh, we miss you, Liam. Um, our secondary guest for the first time at the table as well, the illustrious Sam Richardson. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. I'm also Sam. <laughs> we have yeah. two Sam R's next to each other at the table. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, what could oh, possibly okay. go wrong? Uh, and I'm, I'm the handsome one. Finally, yeah. rounding out on my right hand <laughs> side here, the wonderful. Talis and Jaffe. Hey. Hey. So, uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into this special Red Nose Day one shot. Hey <clears throat> <laughs> so. I'm just gonna do what you do, Sam. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Exandria. In particular, the cozy northwest shore of the island of Athovray, within the northern reaches of the Shattered Teeth a collection of 43 islands that make up the ever-shifting region of the world. Here, within the bustling port village of Drobonagos, oh. which means home of the dreamer in the Galapa tongue, oh. this modest fishing village thrives not just due to the mineral-rich coastal caves that wind through the surrounding seaside rock, but as one of the outlying <clears throat> islands to the seasonally, sh uh, seasonally shucks off the heavy mists that normally enshroud the Shattered Teeth and thus lending itself as a safer supply stop for many sea vessels that brave the region. Now it is here the people excitedly prepare for the upcoming local Muse Tide Festival, where arts, talents, and crafts are on full, vibrant display throughout the village. Uh, people are getting ready to gather in the town center in the week to come. Uh, they're already decorating and preparing the region at a leisurely pace, constructing costumes, uh, building statues of multicolored crustaceans, uh, while other run streamers and colorful banners along the port towers and street lanterns that permeate the streets and roads that run throughout. Uh, this kind of jovial energy is infectious, especially in the kind of the midday uh, merriment that kind of fills the space around you. Um, now, these type of events often also draw opportunists. Swindlers, and sometimes a criminal element uh, that exploit the events and its participants. And it's for this reason the elder Aldefud reached out to all of you to keep an eye out, keep the peace, and help be general security through the setup and event before it arrives next week. Um, now, you are a, a curious band of figures. Some of you had some history, some of you don't. But you found yourselves drinking within one of the nearby watering holes uh, of the village, where the elder himself got a bit, uh, a bit too deep in his sauce cups, mm. and proceeded to uh, to angrily tout his frustrations with the youth. Um, what nearly turned into a bar brawl, uh, something that seemed to happen on more than one occasion. You stood to his defense, and he seemed to take your troop as a a very talented and well-established group of traveling guardians, right. and thus felt inspired to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, 15 gold a day to just sit around and watch the local inhabitants of the village just build is pretty easy money, especially if nothing goes wrong, which nothing will go wrong, right? Um, but here now, as you bring us to the warm midday, the blue and cloud-dappled sky above, the smell of sea spray in the air from the higher tide that hits the nearby docks, stages and carts are being set up within the square, 
uh, as we'll say, uh, you two emerge from the closest tavern to the market square as the door swings open with a slam on the side. Uh, Sam, if you could introduce us to your character and what we see. Yes, I am Ranthiel Volthor, a, <laughs> a, a human warlock with uh, braided hair tied back in a, uh, with a blue headband and a cloak that covers a fine bit of hide armor. Ooh, sexy. A uh, very sexy, <laughs> very charming uh, warlock who loves a bit of booze. He's stammering a little bit because he's enjoyed a little bit of a, of a drink. Uh, and I walk out the front door and I'm kind of telling, uh, uh, I'm telling Bramble that she is in fact not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as you walk through the door, quickly rushing out after you, uh, gliding through the air, we see Bramble. Laura, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself. Yes. Um, uh, my name's Bramble. Mm. I am a fairy. <laughs> okay, so I'm about this big. Mm. Um, I'm light green with a beautiful, messy mane of orangish, yellowish hair. I don't know what the natural color is. It's kind of filled with dirt. Mm. Um, there is, you know, thorns and sticks sticking out of her hair. Um, she's fastened dried leaves and some dead flowers together and make her awesome armor um, with a, some fur sticking on there that probably belonged to a mouse that at one point was white. It's not anymore. I think she kind of smells like a little cloud of rancid meat as she flies around. Mm, um, and she's floating around your head going, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Rand. You didn't say that the other day, <laughs> okay? Uh, well, I mean, you know, the drink sp speaks for itself, but uh, things happen, but they don't mean anything. Ram. Ram. Give it time. Okay. You're gonna love this. Just, I'm not into it. <laughs> Just not into it. <laughs> As this discussion of banter back and forth kind of pushes its way into the, the din of the, the busy work in the middle of the courtyard, we shift over to the sound of a practicing band a troop of musicians that are currently by one of the stages that is only partially built. We see uh, a, a squat halfling uh, who has uh, kind of a, a hat with the front brim kind of pulled back and he's currently tuning a lute, uh, staring kind of in a frustrated direction towards a, another small folk performer who's also tuning their lute. Uh, as we turn over to uh, Sam Regal, if you would like to uh, introduce your character. I'm playing a, a young character named Scanlan Shorthalt, mm -hmm. who is uh, a gnome bard. Um, <laughs> he, uh, let's, let's say that he's, he's wearing purple, he's wearing tight purple pants, uh, and, uh, and a white shirt, but the shirt is buttoned all, uh, let's say it's buttoned all the way up. He's, he's got long hair down to his uh, shoulders, but uh, he's a little bit uncomfortable in his skin. He doesn't have uh, the swagger of some other performers or, or folks that uh, we might meet later in the world. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, he's definitely tuning his lute. Um, but uh, next to him is Kent Plucker. Kent Plucker is the one who's kind of <laughs> who's a really good. He's really he, Kent Plucker's amazing on the lute, and Scanlan's just trying to trying to learn some of the fingerings and get it right. I mean, you can watch all you want all day, but you'll never quite reach where I'm at. I, mm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. I just I just need a little bit. Can you show me one more time? You or? suck, Scanlan. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh boy. A hand touches your shoulder as we look up to the large, uh, charismatic, uh, half-orc figure of Dr. Dranzel, the, the front man of this performing troupe, kind of pats you on the shoulder. Uh, don't worry, Scanlan. I've seen what you can do, and I look forward to seeing what more you're capable of. Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll keep practicing, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll get good. One day, you'll be as good as us. And you hear someone else shout, you suck, Dranzel! And he's like... <laughs> Comes with the job. Uh, past Scanlan, we look over to see Kent Plucker, who's now kind of, still kind of eyeing the newcomer Scanlan to this troop before hearing the sound of a few boards being knocked over from what looked to be a cluster of building materials. And to the right, we see Talison, if you can describe your character. Um, I'm, my name is, is Bobby, uh, uh, Bobby Sox, and I'm, <laughs> I'm about maybe a, a, a young 15, for a, even for a halfling, a, definitely a, a late bloomer. Um, I'm super excited to be here. I've got messy brown hair and uh, brown boots 
and some uh, brown gloves, and I'm wearing green short pants and a little green shirt that you can't quite see because there's a little leather tunic over it, and I've got a little backpack and a little pack uh, that looks like a little pack of cards on a belt, and I'm I'm super excited by all of this. <laughs> this is so Goober. cool. <laughs> now, don't realize you had knocked over this this majority of building construction materials into the ground. Kent Plucker looks back. Boy, I told you to look where you're going. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I'm Mr. Pluck. I'm Kent. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Kent. Dad. I'll, I'll go pick it up right now. I'm going through it right good now. Good boy. Good boy. I'm so sorry. Look, I didn't know he was going to be here. It's been a few years. I'm almost done. <sighs> All right. I'm Just gonna... one more. He's uh, he's not very cool. All done. <laughs> Did it. Maybe you can learn something. I'm gonna get a drink. You wanna come with me? Yeah. He points over towards you. And if you wouldn't mind, Tony, uh, introducing your character. Oh, oh, he's already drumming. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> my name is Sarge, and uh, I, uh, so I, yeah. my name's Sarge, and I'm a drummer. So uh, me and, um, Scanlan. Scanlan, well, his name's pretty easy to forget. <laughs> uh, uh, he, we're in a band together, and um, I used to be, or I am an entertainer, I used to work for the royal family, as you know, the royal family of Uladon from uh, another land. The, I don't know uh, what the hell you're talking about. Nicodronus. And uh, can I give my do secret? Whatever, or? Do whatever you hold on. It, for, hold. for the introduction, hold on to it. Oh, we'll, we'll see so uh, it uh, just so you know, I have, I had platinum white hair, and um, as you notice, I have a dark blue eye and a, and a, and a light blue eye. It's captivating. Uh, these coveralls I'm wearing, I designed perfectly, half dark blue, half light Are blue. Are they skin tight? They're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got, uh, I got black combat boots. Ooh, sick. As you know, for reason I will unveil later because I don't like to give you too much information. <laughs> um, I have dyed my hair black and I have this cloak to kind of keep a little hidden. As you know, this is my friend, uh, my white tiger friend here. Oh. Her name is Ethel. It's massive, massive She's white a tiger. massive white tiger. <laughs> and she is kind of a calming source for me because I get a little jittery, but it goes into my art. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna turn around for you. Oh. If you notice these beautiful platinum drums on my back, <laughs> at a moment's notice I do a flip and the drums start, and it sounds like thunder is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the local townsfolk stop and turn, looking for the sign of rain in the middle of this beautiful, vibrant it's me. day. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them clap and get back to work. Yep. Kent looks back at you. Well, come on, let's get that drink. <clears throat> okay. You both start sauntering over towards the tavern, passing by the two of you just as the elder himself arrives. Oh. You see uh, Elder uh, Aldefoot who is this massive male galapa, this, this massive bipedal tortoise folk. Stands probably about seven feet tall at the top of the shell. Um, it's lanky, his, his limbs are very thin, but kind of like fan out into a, a, a bold thickness at the end of the forearms and the legs themselves, so he kind of looks like he's, he's he, he walks with this strange kind of lopping gait. Mm. Um, you see uh, his, uh, his gray skin is is thick, uh, and there are a whole number of tattoos uh, throughout it. And his shell itself is painted like permanently in turquoise shades um, that give all these different like weird symbols around it that denote his years of service uh, here to the village. And you can see there's like dangling trinkets that are tied onto it and holes that are burrowed into the edges of the shell where he hangs them from. And so as he walks, he kind of jangles with him as he approaches. You see himself kind of shaken off what looks to be. Uh, some sort of a hangover himself before he glances over at you mm. and uh, both of you as you kind of gather the, outside of the uh, the bar himself. Oh goodness, what a pleasure to see you all out here midday. I'm sorry uh, uh, if you have a moment here. Things are starting to ramp up, uh, and I think if if you don't mind, uh, I'd like all your eyes just in case. I fly over and grab onto one of his dangly bits on his shell and just start Hang swinging on. back. <laughs> that, nice. is, that is okay if I go over and talk to the, I know that I'm supposed to be here, but. I'll keep an eye on it. I just, that's okay, thank you, Mr. Sure Thor. enough, I'll go ahead and get my drink, then I guess get your business Thanks. finished, Kent. Sarge. That's his dad? We can't, we can't, uh, the ludist is, is this guy's dad. Uh, yeah. well, Bobby Sox is dad. Uh, we'll put it this way, I, I'm his <laughs> donor. Uh, and then walks Ooh. into the bar. Drama! <laughs> 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 
He's super funny. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Now you've all kind of gathered at this point, the Elder looks about. Well, uh, you've already proven yourselves to be extremely uh, capable and uh, a very tight new group of trusted companions, I'm sure. And to that degree, I'm glad that you've agreed to ac accept my uh, particular offer uh, for keeping watch over the fine folk of this fair village. Mm. Um, I have a feeling, as previous years, that some folks on the outskirts are up to no good. So if you could just be present, keen-eyed, looking for any opportunity to help out whoever needs it around, and if any funny business is happening, well, you just, whoop, oops, sorry, shoulder doesn't work. <laughs> Give them the business. Um, might even be a bonus at the end if you do some good work Ooh. in the mob behalf. <laughs> so. How much? Oh, I guess that's a discussion for what gets done, little house. <laughs> and he kind of like gently, Tips you with his finger as you swing even heavily. <laughs> no, rubs the back of his chin like the the kind of wrinkled front of his tortoise face to the the pointed bit of its uh, the front of his lip. You can see there's a little bit of like a, a faint, heavy, almost like a stubble. You didn't think tortoises could grow any facial hair, but you're not sure if it's maybe to be short bristles. Mm. Yeah, you've not spent a lot of this <laughs> this much time in front of an older uh, Galapa, but it's definitely. Uh, an interesting element as he kind of rubs it and makes this loud kind of like shh, shh sound that kind of sets you on edge. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave you to your business. I gotta go meet with. Uh, is, is there anywhere particular where it meant to be stationed or or looking for? Well, this seems to be the central region. Uh, you're welcome to go on individual walks if you think it's necessary. But I honestly think uh, if anything's gonna happen. Probably gonna go down. Can I ask you what kind of things you've seen that make you this skeptical about outsiders? Oh, in all my years as a village elder, all seven of them, <laughs> I've seen all sorts of folk trying to feed fish from underneath the fishmonger. Huh. Fish thieves. I've seen children running around and stealing baubles from the various bobble makers. Children wow. thieves. Wow. Children like thieves bobbles. and bobble thieves. So we're yeah. not talking big crimes. We're talking kind of petty things. Maybe right? not big to you, uh -huh. but they're big to the fishmongers. Fair enough. They're big right. to the bobble makers. Okay. As long as the coin spins. I forgot I have an accent as well. As long as the coin spins, <laughs> and it's going to be just fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no worries. He's Bye. so dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I love it. I'm not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> As the elder saunters off for a bit, and uh, the kind of bustle of the city now kind of fills the space. All five of you are now standing awkwardly at each other, with uh, your current business set before you, but no immediate direction. So, Ran, uh, you um, you just uh, just are with the woman, and then you can just sort of walk away like like nothing matters. Everyone matters, but you know, it's only for a short amount of time. Mm. Huh. Yeah. I like that idea. In a way, I fall in love with everybody, but I just kind of fall out of love pretty easily. Do you have uh, any other girlfriends around here that we should know about? Uh, no, no, I don't even have one. Oh, I mean... Just uh, people I've been with. Oh, maybe. Mum's the word right now, mate. You hear that? He's been with me. Yeah. <laughs> what I hear is you're open. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how do you, so you, this is your dad, uh, the guy over there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Do you know anything about what he's talking about? About all these kids stealing stuff and stealing fish and stuff? Well, I mean, I mean, you know, things happen. This is you know, this is a, a carnival or a festival, and you know, people tend to, you know, uh, drink uh, inappropriate drinks. Uh, maybe sometimes, you know, uh, uh, get a little spiced up. Uh, yeah, 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 you sure. know, if, you, sure. if, if I've heard. Uh, okay. So, you know, it's it's those little things, and little things happen. Little things lead to big things, and so if we just stop people from doing the little things, and just bobbles, for, exa for okay. example, or cheating at some of the games, which are actually technically rigged, I've heard, uh, then you know they won't lead to a, a, a further into a life of crime. Someone, they, uh, anyone, anyone. Oh. And as you're having this conversation, oh. you see this this young, uh, like early mid 20s elf looking woman um kind of waifish um you know thin uh, jowls her eyes this like bright amber color jet black hair that looks a bit tousled and dirtied her pointed ears kind of poking through uh, you can see there's smudges of dirt uh, on the oh. center of her face she's wearing a simple dress and she kind of stumbles out into the crowd here she she has this 
kind of a look of, of concern and or anxiety behind her eyes. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, good. And she like stumbles and full on like falls on her ass. Oh. Under the desk. Oh, see Daisy oh. Love. Oh. I'm gonna run over. A card that says 10 on it. <laughs> oh, here, here, here you go, ma'am. Let me, oh. let me help you up. Well, thank you so much. You're so kind. I feel like I should roll a strength check for this. Sure, I'm, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> I'm not going to deny it. Uh, yeah, thank you. First uh, roll again. Awesome. Two. Two. So, so, thank you kindly. Just go, go, go. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, okay. You get pull, up. You both fall back into mud. Ow. <laughs> ow. Help. Okay. Um, Ram, maybe a little help over there. I mean, yeah. you seem to be the. She's, she's very ass. heavy. Uh, I'll fly over and grab her and pull her up. <laughs> this tiny fairy lifts her up under her feet. Oh, wow. Oh, you got wow. Some oh thank you. She's very wow, heavy. Nice. Jeez, goodness, you. Kind of looking about at your attire and various adornments. Are, are you all guardians of this event? Are you all? Seems that way. The day, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. security. Oh, oh, what wonderful fortunes, protectors of this. I am impressed. I, I, hmm? I do hate to ask, and you see her bottom lip kind of trembling, Aww. like a bit of fear behind her eyes. I'm a bit. the lip. Aims a little off this morning. I've been drinking this early in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm in dire need of help. Um, oh, why would you? <laughs> I'm in dire need of help. Uh, such a capable individual. This is you. Um, Somebody stole your fish or your little baubles? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I live a small ways outside of Drobanagos, uh, in a, a small cabin by the waters with my sister Telis and my mother, uh, Prothanthanope. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> All right. We've been... <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been noticing the local wildlife uh, have been growing unnaturally agitated. Um, and when my sister and I investigated, we saw a dark-looking ship secretly docked within one of the sea caves. Uh, many rough-looking types with sharp weapons, not unlike your own. Mm. And now, uh, my sister and I went to look, and we were spotted by one of the crew. Uh, I barely fled with my life uh, before rushing straight here. Uh, I fear my sister did not quite keep up with me. Mm. Uh, I might have been taken. Uh, could you help me rescue her before the sun sets? Ethel starts to stir, because some of these animals were her friends. <laughs> she knows what he's, she knows what she's talking about. Uh, I, I mean, this is what we're technically being paid to do. I guess technically right? it's outside of the, of the market, so technically this isn't what we're paid to do. So should we just not go? I mean, I'm going to say probably not, but well, I, I, I don't leave it up to me. We have to help the animals. Very well. Yeah. I'm and not sure. the and the so, I mean, maybe, maybe. Maybe there could be a song in this if, if we if we if we have some sort of adventure. Oh look, he's already inspired. Is that six eight time? Oh, Is that yeah, three yeah, four yeah. time? <laughs> <laughs> I can get my nauti my nautical uh, knots bobble. So I'll get one more bobble for my bobble belt. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Kids love bobbles. Don't be, you know, I can get you a little old, but yeah. Sure. Kids sure. love bobbles. <laughs> <laughs> is there a is there a direction you think we should start? Oh, I can take you there. You can lead us. Oh, I came here from it. I, I, I'd probably be the easiest way to get there. i would be lovely to have you. Yes, All right. please. This might lead to a bonus. Let's go. Yeah. My yeah. name is Lygia. 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 Uh, ple pleasure to, to make your acquaintance. What, what do you call yourselves? The five oh. of you. Oh. Uh. The glorious ones. The glorious yep. ones. Yep. Yep. Right. Glorious. The glorious ones. Yep. That sounds important. Yeah. yeah. It, no. is it is really important. important. And the glorious ones always. Geo. We go. That's right. That's we go. right. Thank you. Yeah. That's, our That's very clever. <laughs> oh. Marketing. Wow. Clever and handsome. Wow. Oh. Oh, really? Me? Right, easy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. You have a zit on your cheek right oh, here. Can you get it for me? Oh, a yes. pimple popper. <laughs> Lie down and land on your shoulder and get one of my thorns off and start. She like, adjusts her dress and turns to show you, and kind of like immediately stumbles and is about to go into another fall. This clumsy oh, woman. Clumsy one, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I'll go. I'll go. Don't try and catch her. I scratch your face. Oh! 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 So, so go, go ahead. Go ahead and make a. Uh, I'll say an, an athletics or acrobatics check to try and catch her in time. Okay. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Whoa! Whoa! Dang. Whoa. Whew. 
Interesting. Like, I'm a... like the shadow of a future charlatan <laughs> overcoming him from within, and you dart <laughs> and catch her, almost like a romance novel cover. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. sir. I, uh, it was nothing. I, uh, <laughs> I was just here. Yes, I was trying to get you off my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. Uh, Lygia? You remember my name? <laughs> I remember all names. <laughs> the only time you remember. And it, she gets back to her feet. <laughs> oh, the beating of the heart is fast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm a bit clumsy, if you haven't told. Th this way, through the jungle. As soon as she walks away, I'm gonna just turn to Rand and be like, oh, "Was that yeah, good? That was, that was really okay? cool, mate. You know that that was very, very charming, mate. I was just trying to channel you, and well it, sort of, it sort of worked. It worked. I'm proud of you, mate. Okay, okay. <laughs> as you all begin to head off, as you're stepping out beyond the outskirts of the village towards the the island jungle that sits beyond, towards the back, just kind of the sound of your drum hitting, a cold chill runs down your back, and for a moment, oh. Sarge. <laughs> Thank you. You worry that something from your past might still be lingering. Yeah, um, Lygia. Lygia? Lygia. She stops and says, yes, uh, fine drumsman. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, any of these uh, people you saw, did any of them look kind of like royalty from a different land by chance? If they be royalty, they, they'd be dressing down quite strongly. Uh, most of them quite rough and tumble looking, to be honest. Okay. All right, just curious. Why yeah. do you ask? Uh, yeah. I don't know, Ethel. I don't know if I should tell him. Do you really talk to Ethel? Ethel? Yeah, I talk to Ethel. Can Ethel really understand you? Yeah. Ethel, do you understand me? <laughs> Thank you. Clear. 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 I'm going to start casting Speak with Animals. Okay. It takes 10 <laughs> minutes, but I'm going to do it. Okay. So here's your flying ears, like muttering under your breath, this incantation. Um. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> oh, alright, I thought. Um, so, uh, I, um, a little secret about myself since we're in this forest mm -hmm. by ourselves, and, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm developing trust with you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys, at least. Yeah. Um, I, hap I got into a little trouble back in my kingdom, the, um, the. Nicodronus, where you're Nicodronus, from. Nicodronus, where I'm sure. from. And I heard that place is awesome. <laughs> not for me. And so I, there was a murder, which you guys might have heard the big murder that happened to the townsperson mm -hmm. that was trying to sell some goods. They were found dead. Well, I know who did it, that they were in the royal family. Oh, God. But at the time, I was the entertainer for the royal family. I was the jester. Wow, that's just a good gig, right? Thank you very you much. Work I worked very, yeah. very hard. Does it for pay it. like an annual salary, or, or like by the day, by the oh, hour? I get like an annual salary, but I get like bonuses every six months if they like me. If they don't, then I kind of wow, have to spend nice. time in jail and all that oh, kind of that's, stuff. Mm. That's a rough, rough goal. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was, I was the jester. They loved me. This happened. It was a part of the royal family. I became the scapegoat. I did not do it. I'm telling you guys, I did not do it. I ran away. If you notice my platinum hair peeking out, I had to dye it black to stay in hiding. Oh, I thought that was like a stylistic thing. Yeah. No, like you just in a roll the stage performance. I didn't do tips like the boy bands of the 90s. Oh, okay. Real hair of the 790s? Of the, seven, <laughs> of the 790s. Yes. Very popular. <laughs> and, <laughs> and how long was, was this murder ago? I'm just taking notes. Sure, okay, The real hair you. was platinum, it was the... Um, I don't know if you need to take notes. I mean, you can just listen, but it was what? about five years ago. You're not going to do anything with those notes, right? What? Oh, okay. So, like, it was about <laughs> it was about five years I've been on the run, and um, <laughs> Ethel has been Ethel has been a guardian for me, and she's been very faithful, and she understands everything I say. <laughs> Am I done casting it yet? <laughs> um, while, while this is kind of happening, nope. uh, <laughs> uh, Ran, you. See that Lygia is like listening, but also keeps like glancing over your direction. And when you catch her gaze, she goes, "Sorry, I, we haven't really discussed much in the way of payment. Um, my mother does have a great many crystals that she's collected from the sea over the years. Um, would a handsome gentleman such as yourself be in gracious to help? You better step I, in. I could. Because... Perhaps we could go on a date or something after. I, I mean, I'd be." 
very well inclined, I think, love. Sorry, I've got an accent. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right, I've got one too. Oh, you sure do, I love it. Um, crystals and maybe just you know, maybe a, a drink in a pub. I, I like that. I, I don't get into town very often, and uh, do. I'm not used to getting the attentions of one such as uh, chiseled as you. <laughs> I've only hard to believe, love. I all right, I'm taking us your spell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind her. <laughs> Nothing. I, uh, no, just one, wanting to, to thank you all properly for for coming to Maid, at the end of this. It, <laughs> like falls into Are the you ground. Come under her she's, now. She's absolutely useless. She's a little clumsy. Oh, turned a corner. Got to pick her up. <laughs> clumsy can be charming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. A date it is. A date it is. <laughs> she continues jaunting along. She's faking it. <laughs> that was She's awesome. She's faking it. Nobody is that clumsy. And that's how you do it, mate. What, what you, <laughs> I'm learning I, so much today. <laughs> I, what, what, what are you doing? Nice I mean, try, pal. I, I thought that's that I had called her. Yeah. I called her. Yeah. You know, you gotta learn to walk before you can run. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, accent, accent might help. Yeah. Might, try an accent on. Maybe that'll fix it. All right. All right. Oh, wow. That's good advice. I'll take that. I'll, yeah. I'll try that. Um, I'll try that. Okay. Do as I do. Say as I say. All right. <laughs> I'll try my best. Oof, try the hard way. It's a start. It's a start. Uh, also, it's about this time, Bobby, that you hear this, like this faint, little cracking sound from the inside of your pack, and you recall uh, one of the odd little things you collected that you thought was a petrified uh, egg of some odd creature. You kind of look back into it, and you can see this. This uh, unique little uh, kind of ovoid looking stone about that large. Oh, neat. But a new little line seems to have run its way through the side of it. Well, this is a curiosity. I picked this up because I was going to identify it later when I got home uh, with my mineral books. But uh, <laughs> it's not supposed to do this. This is very strange. Uh, let's just let's just put it on the ground and. Uh, Boy, that's so odd. Is it moving? Do I do I recognize what this is? Uh, you can make a, a, a nature or an arcana check. Okay. I'll make a, uh, an so you roll, roll d20 and then add your arcana, arcana Ooh, or nature. Roll, 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 roll. No, Ooh. it's not our first roll. No, it's not our first roll. But it's okay. It's his first roll. <laughs> a 10. So he said either arcana plus three or what did you say? Nature. 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 So, our, so this was our, our arcana. Mm. So 13. 13. Okay. So uh, <laughs> looking at this, uh, it definitely. At first glance, you, it looks like it might be a, a crafted object, like mm. a, a decoration someone put on a shelf. Mm. Um, but the further you look at it, the details are too fine. Uh, this does look like it, it is or was an egg of some larger creature. Mm. You can't quite pinpoint what it was. The, the somewhat dull gray and cerulean color to it, um, and the nature of the crack seems like it either had been damaged in shifting, um, but you're not certain if something would be viable to hatch. Or if it was just damaged in transit. That's as much as you can ascertain. I'm curious, man. Where'd you get this? Uh, I got it. I got it at a. a <laughs> Where, where'd you get it? Where did I get it? Well, I was uh, taking one of my uh, walks down the beach with my with with my dad. I mean, with with, uh, with Kent. And uh, he actually was too busy to go, so I just I, I took it uh, by myself. But it was uh, my uh, walk with my dad, mm. and I found it just at the edge of the shore, along with like three wonderful shells. I actually wrote down what kind of shells they were, uh, but I didn't put my uh, I didn't bring my book with me for this one. Mm. Uh, but I thought it would uh, it would be fun to identify later. It's uh, I mean, do you want to open it? Or? Wait, wait. What if it's alive? What if it's a little animal and live in there? Well, that's why you're gonna tap it very gently. We, I just finished casting, casting Speak with the Animals. You did. Ethel's waiting. Yeah. Uh, Ethel's kind of going over and sniffing it. What do you think, Ethel? Do you think it's alive in there? I don't know. I want to eat it. I don't think you should do that, Ethel. Did do you really like Sarge? Does he really understand you? Sarge seems okay to me. <laughs> what, okay. Did she, what did she say? What did she say? You can't understand her? <laughs> I'm kind of friends by circumstance. It works Wait a minute, out all right Ethel. for the two of us. Ethel. Why? Ethel. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, are you. Are you a dude? No, I just happen to have a deeper voice. <laughs> deeply yeah, offensive. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. I'm a tiger. Tigers are growly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Fine, she's. Give me the 
a summary of what you were saying? Ethel, um... <laughs> Ethel has the hots for you. <laughs> Very horny episode. Wow, well, <laughs> <it's apparently. laughs> a very horny character. <laughs> I, think, I think someone should should take a poke at it. Someone brave. Someone with knowledge. Um, Wait, is that you? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I am a minor. I don't think that would be uh, appropriate, uh, Mister uh, uh, Volt, uh, Volt, uh, Volt. Just call me Ron, Mister Ron. Uh, you should. Uh, you you seem cool. You should you should uh, just just uh, I don't know. Just give it a. So still It'll like you because you're really you're cool. really I mean like you everyone likes you so far so I placed it on the on the I was a little bit further mm -hmm. from it and then we casting an Eldritch Blast on it be too <gasps> overkill I don't know what do you want to try <laughs> wait can I try yeah, to talk yeah, yeah, to yeah. it first yeah. do your thing you do your yeah, thing yeah do your thing what do you want to do uh, <laughs> I uh, zap it with an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. As you all kind of step back into the brush of the jungle, you watch as Rand sets it down in the middle of like a cluster of roots in this like small, maybe five foot clearing. Let's, oh, he's he's going to do something let's really take delicate. A close look at this. Really delicate. Really delicate. It's a very delicate. Watch as I do. Okay. Do as I do as I do, not as I say. And place it there, and blast it. <laughs> Go and roll for an attack. <laughs> Do as I do. 12 uh, as with a uh, plus, plus six, so it's 18. 18. <laughs> you watch as this kind of delicate, weird, uh, what color What color would your energy apparate? Blue. As? Like a like a deep cerulean blue energy kind of gathers up in his hand before shoof, darting outward and boof, blasting this egg type uh, object. The dirt just boof, explodes into a cloud of dirt and dust and clods of earth, and the egg goes shoof, <laughs> and vanishes off did into the jungle above. Beautiful oh, kill, no, I think. Sorry about that. Wait, did it, did did it, it disintegrate or did it just shoot you, away? You just saw something go whoosh, off into the jungle. Did, oh. Not can I fly over <laughs> to see if I can see where it landed? You can make a perception or investigation oh, check to try and find Ooh, it. I know that. I uh, am, okay. I'll assist. Maybe, oh, oh, okay. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you can just, okay. if you're going to join someone for a thing. Mm -hmm. One roll. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Uh, one, and thank you for the assistant. Uh, Fifteen. Yay. Hey. Oh. Okay, fifteen's better. So uh, as uh, as the egg goes flying off, and you all kind of take a moment of oops, um, Bramble just poof, scoots off after it into uh, the jungle, just flittering the wings as she disappears into the nearby kind of dangling vine clusters. It smells much better. Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darting around, you you try and, and take a moment to figure out where it might have gone, and you kind of. Veer to the right, veer to the left, looking for any sort of sign of recent movement, and you do hear the faint sound of something coming to rest. Like a <laughs> you dive around one of the heavy trunks of a nearby jungle tree, the roots and thick canopy of it kind of twisting around it, and this heavy moss and kind of fern growth that almost completely enshrouds the exterior bark of the tree. Uh, you glance and can see the egg itself has come to land, seemingly unscathed by the impact. Mm. Um, but is it it's inside all the... Uh... Uh, it's kind of like half resting inside a, a cluster of ferns and nearby moss. Okay. Um, as you all kind of catch up and, and look into... Um, who here has the highest perception score? What's your, what's your, if you're looking at your skills? Uh, me. Six. Uh, two. You're just Six, good. Two. I, I have a five. Five's not bad either. Plus five, yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, both Sarge and Bobby, mm -hmm. the two of you, uh, as everyone kind of glances at the egg, you hear this faint singing, this soft like. Oh, that's beautiful. From the egg? Not from the egg. Just kind oh. of in the atmosphere around you. What is that? Gosh. That's beautiful. Are you sure that's not Legia? Yeah, where is Ligia? You, you now look behind you, and uh, Ligia is like, uh, uh, sorry, I got a bit behind you. Um, what's that sound? Were you? That wasn't you. No, and you hear it still like. Is it a is it a recognizable <laughs> tune of any kind, or not popular, or not particularly? Okay. Um, what? you begin to follow the best you can where it might be, and you glance up into the boughs of the tree where this had fallen, and amongst the lower. Branches, where it's mostly just tangles of, of leaves and uh, extended almost like gnarled fingers that come to pointed edges, uh, you see one beautiful, vibrant, reddish purple apple 
that mm. is just kind of hanging at the end of the branch. Ooh, that's and it, dangerous. And it almost emanates with with a, a, a faint aura of we magical power. We should eat power. that. Guys, Probably not. <laughs> I come from a religious background. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know. Should we at least take it then? A voice fills your minds. Eat it. Welcome, children. It's the snake. You found the Grove of Enlightenment. <gasps> here, here all the knowledge and purpose and potential can be granted. I am but a symbol and servant of the future to those who are brave enough. I, I would like to use my perception. Mm -hmm. Is that right where I can really see if what they're saying is true. That'd be um, insight. You insight. want to roll insight oh. on that? Go Can for I it. Do my insight. You may go ahead and roll a d twenty and add your insight skill. Do you want to? Do you want to see the apple up close? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can pick you up and fly you up. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm flying you, you up. You can the pick apple. up. I'm really strong. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. strong. Trust so, me I'm about on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you like, feel like the whoa, you're, you're being kind of hoisted. I'm like just holding up you up by your drums. Oh, wow. As you clutch and you like you touch the outside of it, and as you do, it's 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 warm to the touch, but not in a non-invitational way. Uh, it's smooth and it glistens with almost like a like a, a weird multicolored sheen, yeah. and you hear what sounds like. Uh, almost like a like a choir of angelic voices that just kind of emanate in the space around it, and as it speaks, it's welcoming and warm, mm. and it just says into your mind, "Come, child." Guys, I'm using my insight because I'm getting a bad vibe. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll a d20 and add your insight skill. And that's the that's the yeah, 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 you got it. No, that's not good. <laughs> a five, a five, and then a plus. Um, plus five, so that's oh, not yeah. terrible. Ten. You also Ten. Have luck if oh. you ever want to uh, Oh, oh, and I. You get... oh, you're a halfling. I'm no, <laughs> you have a, you a, Oh, you took that feat. If you, if you care to. I, I, I care to. All right, so spend one of your luck points. Spend one of my just, luck just points. cross one off and Great. roll again. And that's here. That's here. Uh, that's here. Yeah. Bloop bloop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so cut that out. Right? <laughs> Edit that over. You don't need to. <laughs> okay, so then I do for you luck just, points. You just, you roll, just roll again. again. Just roll again. You, you'll be better. This you can you can pick one or the other. Come on, come on, come on. Nineteen. Hey! Nineteen plus five. Is that yes. 19? Yes, yeah. It is. Yeah. Nineteen plus five. Twenty-four. That's solid. So in looking into this, it it seems almost too good to be true, yet. The way its voice enters your mind, the sense of, of power and ancient energy that seems to permeate this, this rare creation here in Exandria, you get the sense that this is a gift, maybe an ancient gift that nobody's oh. quite stumbled upon. You don't feel worried. You feel gifted. What do you think, Sarge? <sighs> And my insight <clears throat> that I'm getting is definitely true. As far as you can gather, unless it's extremely well deceptive, uh, extremely deceptive, uh, you you feel a little more trust, and some of your worry begin to ebb away. Mm. Bring me with you. There's a parallel story to this <laughs> that doesn't end up well. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting everybody. Maybe I'll make a yeah, but not let's, here. Let's get there. Let's yeah. let's try. <laughs> Okay, maybe this is an alternate universe. So I say let's let's pull it down to the ground. So can you, would you mind carrying me back down to the Not ground? Not at all. Thank you. <laughs> As you pull it free from its single stem, the angelic voices <laughs> kind of fade a bit. You killed it. It's still Aww. it's still warm in your hand, and it says, "I will come with you, and my gifts will be yours." Interesting. Your so, gifts are mine personally. Whoever is brave enough to take them. What do you think? Should I blast it? Uh, no, I don't think <laughs> so. so. Can we all hear the apple talking, or is it just Sarge? Uh, it's kind of like the the voice source is ringing through the corners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Does it glow? It has a faint glowing sheen to it, almost like a like like an oil kind of multicolored sheen across it. It's mostly like this deep reddish purple color, and then as you turn it over in the light, I see a little loop. Could I wrap it around a string and wear it around my neck? You could. And then I can be the protector of the gifts that we have. I'm gonna land sure. on your chest and try to take a bite of it. What? Okay. Um, what? Bramberol? Br what? 
<laughs> is, that that is that a word what that you ever heard in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Beelzebub? Yeah. Uh, Bramble. 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 You can call me the thorn. I'll call, okay. You can call me BT. I'll call you sticky. You can call me. Um, call you so, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, so there's plenty of stuff to eat around here. You got yeah. look, at, look at all this. That this, was magic, though. That's a I, magic I understand apple. that. This is not one you're going to partake of. Why, though? Well, it's got... Apple, do you want us to eat you? Don't listen to it. <laughs> this apple told me that they got special gifts for us, and that's what this is for. Let's see that pear over there? You can have that. I don't see any pears. There's five oh, of them one. right okay, there. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a little, it's a little brown, a little mushy, but it's definitely an edible yeah. pear. I'm going to wrap this around, and when I'm sleeping, I don't want to bite out of this in the morning, okay? All right, so I'm going to wrap it around my my neck. All right. And carry it right here. Okay. Or maybe I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. As the kind of music and the voice fades, um, you can recollect your egg, which looks unblemished. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Wait, so you still have a crack? You blasted it and nothing happened. Very curious. Little, I'm gonna just give a little uh, tap tap with with uh, like one of my. I've got something yeah. in my pack. It's like hitting a rock. It's just extremely <laughs> solid and. and I feel like a noise like it's hollow or anything. <laughs> you no, blast too many things. Oh well. You blasted well. that. You blasted bramble. Just love to blast things, man. That's really a thing. <laughs> Loves to blast things. Blasted them. bramble. <laughs> <laughs> blasted bramble. Or sticky, as we like to call it. <laughs> as you place that loop around your neck and the apple sits to your chest. To be emboldened and exalted. Guys, the future is yours. It's telling me to be emboldened, emboldened, <laughs> and exalted is. That's a good thing. This is, seems like a good. Yeah. It's a very good thing. There it's, was something else you said in the end. The future is yours. The fu <laughs> that the future I'm, is ours. That's great. That's nice. I'm going to really quickly look up in my nature guidebook about uh, hallucinogenic apples just to make sure there's not in the area. Check. All right. Uh, that's a uh, where am I doing? Seven. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Mm. Apples generally no. Funguses, other you know, fruit that has gone bad and uh, turned, can cause all sorts of intoxication. Uh, but this, you've never seen something like this before. Not any of the books you've read. Mm. Well, unless there's mold on it, uh, any kind of local mold, or uh, if it's started to go bad and has a smell of. Um, Grandma's special stuff. Uh, stuff. It uh, it should be not causing any sort of hallucination. Maybe it's just a talking apple. I mean, I guess maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Would someone like to ask it another question? <laughs> I mean, I, f I feel like Legia Le wants us to yeah. go rescue oh, her sister. Right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> as as interesting as apples I, and I feel we should just. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you look back at Legia. It's just kind of leaning his cheek, going like. <laughs> right? Uh, you can hear the apple, right? You can hear it? What? This is the apple story, right? <laughs> this is all, this is like, the, just this carefully is putting this apple, apple right? around his neck. <laughs> Sarge like pats it gently. <laughs> She's I'm like, got a whole backstory. <laughs> I feel like the apples put more of an effort to get to know us. Really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really think so. We've got our apple, we've got our egg, we've got our tiger. Let's go I think on our mission. We should probably get moving. <laughs> uh, Sorry to be waiting, darling. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, the mists are coming in close, so we should be wary as we go. Mm -hmm. Who's leading mm -hmm. uh, our journey? You'll mm -hmm. lead. All right, uh, go ahead and make a survival check for me, if you don't mind. I just shouldn't have let me do this. <laughs> that, well, okay. Uh, 18. 18, okay. Uh, not bad. You kind of coast them around through the thicker parts of this jungle uh, to what looks to be an, an, a clearing uh, where there is a, a pile of gathered vegetables that look beautiful and polished. There's a small sign that says free stuff uh, in the middle of it. Mm, I never uh, say no to free. Yeah. Vegetables that are polished? They're, they're like cleaned and shiny. Where did, where did, free stuff, huh? Mm. Wait, it's just a bunch of stuff? It's free vegetables. In the middle of the woods? I go take one. <laughs> curious. <laughs> you fly over and you pick one up. Do you talk to? <laughs> you hear nothing back. Mm. It's so special. How big is the, how big is the vegetable? 
Uh, well, the one that you got closest to you is kind of like a gourd, so it's kind of large. You're kind of like. Ugh. I'm gonna tie a string onto it and put it. <laughs> <laughs> As you. <laughs> <laughs> so petty. <laughs> <laughs> Maintaining height as best you can. Um, Ethel, do you smell anything funny about about these uh, these vegetables? What do you say, Ethel? She can she can understand me. It's not a problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you Speak Sullivan. <laughs> She's not. Shirt's happy. growling. Mm. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, give it a little bit of a, of a, of a magic check. <laughs> like, see if there's anything odd about odd this. About it. I make a perception if you'd like to, to see if there's anything that catches off your attention mm, in this space. Okay. That's a tw- D20? Mm hmm. Right. D20 and add your perception. Skill. 15 plus uh, perception of two, so 17. 17. Uh, you mm-hmm. see on the ground around it what looks like four separate snares that are not very well hidden, oh. that are surrounding oh. the outside of this pile. <laughs> and you can see, like the the rest of the snare tethers are run up the side of some of the nearby jungle trees that surround this clearing, mm. where branches are pulled down and taut. Mm. And then you also notice in the bushes just beyond it, uh, what looks to be four of these small, kind of deep maroon and red scaled looking humanoid creatures with these like long, almost lizard like snouts little horns in the back of their head. They're wearing kind of tattered tunics and have what looks like a net over one arm or maybe a spear in the other, and they're all just kind of these little kobold-like creatures that are kind of like Easy. I'll smell a trap. (laughs) (laughs) He's good. So cool. He's just so cool. (laughs) Someone else wants some vegetables. I've never never seen free vegetables so nice, so free before. (laughs) Something's up. Look at these snares. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's you're, a trap. You're in the bushes. Shit! <laughs> See? And also somebody just said shit. Shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, there it is again. Should we attack him? I mean, you know what? Can, what can if I? you flew in there, because you're not going to step on the traps and see what's behind there? Sure, can you hold my gourd? <laughs> 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 I'll fly over. To where they are hiding? To where they're hiding. Okay. You fly over, and they're, they're both kind of still looking out at the rest, and they haven't like noticed you as you fly up above. They're hiding! Oh, <laughs> they, they all look up at you, and they kind of scatter. <laughs> you go in for a full yeah, attack on them? Sure. All right, let's roll initiative. Oh, yeah! All right. Roll a d20, sir. This is oh, our initiative roll. Oh, indeed. Oh, okay. six. 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 Oh, I got that Plus guy. three? Yep. That's a natural yeah. 20, friend. All right. Nice. Woo! Nine. 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 Okay. Natural 20! Woo! 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 All right. Uh, I'm going first. Uh-huh. Yeah, so maybe this <laughs> is the wrong time to roll a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's <laughs> <laughs> So think about how you're going to attack. So I, That's all right. I attack the little guys. You will. So 20 to 15? 19. He got a natural 20 over there. Oh. Oh, so you're. What number are you? Uh, I'm uh, Sarge is probably first. All right, okay. uh, 15 to 10? Uh, I'm uh, 10. 10? Yeah. All right. How many, little, how many little guys we got back there? Four of them you see, like hiding in the bushes. That's Four you see. That mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Uh, and then you got a nine, a nine. Ran. Yeah. All, right. All right, and Scanlan? I got a six. All righty. Uh, rolled so good. All righty, <laughs> so with that, Sarge, as you see, her shouting out, they're hiding, yeah. and they all of a sudden start to scatter out, grabbing for whatever tools are nearby. Yeah, uh, you have the jump on them. What do you yep. want to do? I'm gonna take, <clears throat> I'm gonna take my blowgun mm-hmm. with my darts, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> to I got two darts in here, two okay. poisonous darts. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they're poisonous. <laughs> Don't breathe in. Yeah, careful. Because <laughs> this is D and D. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> To two of them. You got it. And whatever happens, I get my roll. So right. go ahead and roll your d20 twice, and then add your attack modifier, which I think is six. Okay, I roll this twice? Yep, roll that twice and add six to each. 18. Nice. Oh, cool. Great, and the other? And the other is 17. Oh, Whoa. Wow. good oh, opening shit. round. Okay, so uh, so two of them, if they're running away, they both take, I think it's four damage, it says, for your blow dart, right? Yes. Stay next to the blow dart. Oh, four damage. Yeah, four. So they both take four damage, and because they're poisoned, they have to make a saving throw to see if they become poisoned themselves. Uh, nope, that's going to be a failure at eight and a seven. So both of them kind of like fall to their knees and they start coughing. 
clutching their neck, and you can see like kind of like black sputtering out of their 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 jaws as they're like <laughs> starting to get kind of anxious and nervous. Uh, while the other two kind of look back and like <laughs> and pull out their oh. weapons. Oh, uh, but, but they're still kind of like backing up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so great, you got both uh, blow dart so shots. So those two. Uh, Pretty much out of the game for the time being. They seem to be not doing well, but doing who well, knows yeah. if they'll recover. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to get closer? Or do you want to stay put where you are? I, I think I, I'll stay put where okay, I am. Okay, cool. So that finishes your go. Great, uh, Bramble, you're up. I would like to rage. All right. <laughs> Describe how Bramble rages for me, please. Ah, her, her wings glow. They start to flutter really fast, and uh, her hair, which is normally kind of an orangish yellow, like fires up to like a reddish color. Mm. Okay. Um, and she's gonna charge down with furious wings uh, at the little dude in front of her. Okay, so she's gonna hit with her axe first. Go for it. <clears throat> roll for your attack with your axe, and then roll with your other weapon if you'd like. Okay. Uh, look, I can add twelve. Twelve just hits. Oh, sweet. Okay, <laughs> and then I'm following it up with my sword attack on them. Go for it. Jeez, Louise, I suck. Uh, nine doesn't hit. Nine does not hit. But no. I'll roll for. This is one of the ones that wasn't blow darted, correct? This is one of the ones that was not blow darted. You got it. I okay. don't know why. I, okay, wait. Uh, D10. Because I'm raging. Correct. Okay, 11 points of slashing damage with my battle axe. Okay. And so, then <laughs> I'm going to f- uh, fly away. Okay, so you. So you immediately go with your battle axe and your sword. The sword goes wide on the second strike because the battle axe just smears this kobold. It's oh, like, sweet. It's like ah! <laughs> and just gets like splattered against the tree behind. The one next to it is like. <laughs> oh sweet! That means I get another attack. Okay. Right? If I if I knock somebody out, I get to attack again. And do you have an ability that, that lets you do that? Isn't that a barbarian thing? <laughs> no, no, that's that's a feat. Of, that's, that's a feat ability. <laughs> that sounds cool. Well, that is cool. There, there are there are feats and abilities that can do that. But if that was what Grog used to do, so that's why I thought it was. There, because he had the feat. He's special. But that's okay. But ah! you, <laughs> you fly back into the air like this, like blood smear in the front of you. <laughs> it's just this nightmare fairy kind of pulling back wow. into the jungle. Wow. Great. That finishes your turn. Uh, it's now their turn. The two that are on the ground, like coughing. <laughs> Kind of get look up and you see like the, the black kind of dripping from their jaws. Uh, one of them takes picks up its sling and goes, Argh! and it's gonna go fling it towards you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, mm-hmm. and it's gonna bounce off the platinum drums. It just might. Ooh. We'll see. Uh, uh, that's gonna be a total of 16 to hit. What's your armor class? So your armor class is, looks like a shield right there. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I? And I just say what it is. What is it? What's a, my armor class is 17. 17. So yeah, rolled a 16. So it does miss. So indeed, you spin and it <laughs> bounces off the drum with a heavy <laughs> sound. Cool yeah. fill. That's a cool fill. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder. Uh, and he goes like. <laughs> And it's going to dart backwards. Uh, the other one that's currently still sputtering. Does it hit that guy? Does it bounce back and hit him? Uh, it doesn't quite, though it oh. kind of hits the ground nearby. Okay. The other one's going to grab a dagger and sort of lob it at you again, because it just doesn't like being blasted with that. That's going to be a 14 to hit. That also misses. So you just kind of like using the drum to defend yourself and darting through the bushes. Both of their attacks go wide, no impact. Okay. Um, the one you had killed one of them, and the other one that was kind of preparing itself as you darted away can't quite get into range. So it's going to go ahead and take its sling and swing it. Um, the one that's probably going to be nearest and most visible will be the human, since everyone else is a little more short. Mm-hmm. It's going to and unleash that towards you. That will be, that's a natural 20. So that is a critical oh, no. hit against you. So in, in your confident eye of watching most of this troop immediately scatter, one of them just gets a lucky shot that pings you right between the eyes, right in the forehead with a heavy, oh, your vision goes white for a second. Oh. Um, you take, it <laughs> still didn't roll very good though, uh, six points of damage. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa! Nobody hits me in my face. Oh, sorry, nobody hits me in my face and lives to tell about it. <laughs> nobody hits me in my face. And the, the, the couple that hit you kind of like pull sucks out of that. So, tackles in your so direction. Pull, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Bobby, you're up with Ran on deck. So uh, what are you gonna do, Bobby? Okay. Oh, I'm super. I'm super confused because there's just too many options. Um, I'm gonna look in my book and see if there's anything local that I can use. Uh, Oh, there is a particular type of thorn vine that grows in this area. I'm going to cast uh, um, in, <laughs> Entangle, uh, and I'm going to attempt to uh, 
entangle the, uh, the the creatures that are trying to run away from us right now. You got it, already. Um, so uh, let's... That's uh, a dexterity saving throw, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's a, a creature in the area cast on... Uh, strength saving throw. Oh, strength saving throw. You got it. All right, so the three that are remaining are going to make that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even joking. Natural 16, natural 18, and natural 20. Oh. So all three of them resist the entangle. That was oh real lucky. Oh, fish dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but the ground around them is now difficult terrain. You watch as all the vines and ferns around start like overgrowing and becoming this kind of dangerous to traverse space. They're not entangled in it yet. Um, but yes. So you want to stay put or do you want to move in? Um, I'm actually I'm going to uh, run uh, run over and uh, get ready to uh, help Mr. Rand in case anything goes wrong. So okay. that's kind. Thank you. Yeah. You got it. Okay, and Rand, it's your turn. Rub my head <laughs> very angrily and prepare to cast uh, an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, at a distance. Uh, you shoot two blasts, so you can shoot two different ones or one. Uh, I'll try to, 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 I'm gonna blast the one who hit me. Okay, there so go, go roll for that attack. Okay. Is that plus, I believe, six is your modifier? Mm hmm. It's a five. Uh, so, so 11? 11, 11 just misses. You fire the first one and you figure your eyes are still a little wonky and you're seeing a lot more than are there as their vision's kind of blurring and you fire the first blast and it slams into the nearby tree and poof, splinters nearby and then the kobold was laughing and he goes like, ah, and starts, starts freaking out as you can attack again with your second bolt if you oh, like. yes. The first one, that was just a warning that this is coming. 18 plus six. That'll hit, so uh, go ahead and roll damage. Hell yeah. Dead on. Is this one like, it's like beep, 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 beep. You fire it forward, go ahead and roll the damage on that one, which I think is a 10-sided yep. dice, it's plus three. Right yeah. Come on, come on. Four plus six, seven? Seven points of damage. That that will cause him to, the impact hits, you see him kind of tense up, and like poof, opens his eyes. <laughs> Oh and he just has this massive hole in his chest. <laughs> oh, wow. And just oh. the ground. And especially no one laughs at me. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. So the two of them have been destroyed, and the two that are still standing are barely standing, poisoned by the uh, That's right. uh, the blow darts. Uh, that brings us to Scanlan. Uh, do they seem still a threat, or should we? That's uh, a, I mean, they're both on on death's door. Mm. On death's door. I feel bad about this. They're just little guys. Then what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, okay, I will then, uh, uh, as an action. Destroy them! <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I just, I just can't. I, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna talk to them. <laughs> okay. So as they're both like <laughs> getting up and like trying to grab their utensils and tools. And hey, stuff. hey, hey! I, uh, uh, oi. Very good. Very good. Oi. You don't want to fight us anymore. Are you attempting to, to persuade cast, them or intimidate? I'll cast a suggestion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll cast a suggestion. You don't want to be fighting us anymore. Huh? That's very good. Very All right, good. so one of them, you target, no, that's a natural five. Uh, one of them, it's like. <laughs> Wow, the accent really it works. It works every time. Wow! Like, he takes its like weapons and throws them to the ground and just kind of looks at you like. Wow. Hey, look at that! And the other one goes like. <laughs> it's gonna grab its stuff and it looks like it's getting ready to run. Um, um and then as a uh, bonus action, uh, can, is can I inspire now too, or is that a? As a bonus action, you can. Yeah. Okay, cool. I will also, as a bonus action, I will uh, I will turn to my uh, my fellow. Handsome charmer over here, and I will uh, inspire him. I, so I, I will give you an, uh, some extra points you can use on your next turn. Oh, how do you inspire? I will sing to him. Oh, nice. uh, I will sing a classic song where I'm from. Richardson, <laughs> Richardson, <laughs> it's Rompio time in the city. <laughs> uh, okay, that's. <laughs> All right. So you have a, a is it D six? It's a D eight. D eight this level. All right. That's what it says. So you have an eight sided die what? that you just yeah, kind of keep to the this side. This early, okay. I know. I don't and, understand. And whenever you uh, so have to make an attack roll, uh, yeah. or, an, or an ability check, you yeah. can go ahead and add that dice to it if you feel like you need it needs the bonus. Okay. So it's just kind of like it's kind of like a little thing that sits in the wings until you want to use it. So gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. All right, that finishes your turn, Scanlan? Like yes. One. All right, oh, you Sarge, are. you're up. Well, one of them seems to have thrown its weapons down, uh, and the other one is gathering its equipment and about to, to run. What do you uh, want to do? What do I want to do? Yeah. 
Um, I, what do I want to do? I think I'm an acrobat. Mm-hmm. So I am going to do some flips <laughs> okay. and get in front of him. Okay. And stop him. Fantastic. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check for me. So go ahead and roll your oh, d20. I, dude, I got to check for that. Yeah, add your acrobatic oh, skill. So acrobatic skill, got it. Nine. Oh, plus. is that a nine or is it a plus? Nine. Plus, okay, an acrobatic. Oh, nice. Plus six. Plus six, hey, that's, that's 15, great. that's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's enough clustered trees around you that you can kind of look up and jart off to the side, kind of parkouring off one end, leaping onto a secondary branch, leaping and spinning in the air, kind of doing a back handspring as you impact on the softer part of the jungle floor, and then land right in front of this kobold that's about to flee. It turns and sees you surprised in its face. It looks, like, looks back to where you were, looks where you are, and it looks spooked that you're suddenly where it was trying to escape. And I've noticed he's not looking at me, he's looking at the apple. Uh, There's something about the apple that he's yeah. more interested in than me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I immediately am concerned. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, you're using your turn to worry? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to roll for how worried I am. No, no, you're just worried if you roll want to Roll for me. bladder. <laughs> um, I will say, as you kind of like keep it from leaving, the fog that has rolled in, the mists that have swallowed here, that cold sensation kind of runs down your back once mm. more, and you swear you see like a shape moving through the mists. Oh. It almost looks like a, just like, a, like a face or a person, but it, then it's there and it's gone. Mists. It's a face I recognize. It is a face you recognize. <gasps> yeah, it's a face I recognize from many years working <laughs> with this face. Um, do I say what, what I think it is? You, uh, that's the end of your turn. You have, you oh. just now recognize them. Okay. And now you move on into combat two. Okay. Brambles go. Ah. Uh, yes. I'm gonna fly down in front of Sarge and land on this little creature's head, and I'm gonna take my sword and try to stab it down into his head. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Go ahead and roll your attack with the sword. This couple that stopped and looks up at you. Jesus, why do I decide? I'll get you rid of this dice for now. Um, that is four plus oh. something. Yeah, I know, dude. It's 11, it's not gonna hit. And it just misses. Oh, it you, me so you dive down and <laughs> hit the dirt next to it in the ground, and the couple's like, <laughs> and like screams at him. And swinging around and trying to chop his legs at the bottom. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a 19 plus. That'll hit. So go okay, ahead and roll okay. damage on that. So D10 plus, so eight points of damage Alrighty. on his ankles. On his ankles, that, that'll that take him out. Uh-huh. As you, shh, you, it, you take off the legs, he just kind of falls to the ground like, <laughs> <laughs> just screams at the space where its legs once were. Um, hey, I liked your jumping. Thank you. Very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so the only one that's standing is the one that threw its weapons on the ground and is still staring at you, Scanlan. Huh. Oh, oh no, he's Stop our friend. Stop looking at your phone. He's, he's our friend. He's our friend. <laughs> well, he's no longer fighting. Okay, just settle down now. S- settle down now. Very good. Um, and um, what, uh, what? Are you with anyone? Do you work for anyone? Very good. It's getting very good. Oh no, does he not speak common? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he just kind of glances at you for a second. Do you speak gnomish? Oh no, he doesn't speak my language. Speak. Oh, but he does! He, he just has a really strong accent. See? <laughs> like we me! Both exactly like we both oh. have accents. <laughs> okay. Do you work? Do you work for? A, do you work for anyone else? Is there any? No, oh. we just wanted to get people stuck oh, in my life. Then, so, then run away. We should, what are we doing with this? You killed my friends. Well, they you tried. hit me in the head. Right? 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 <laughs> what are you protecting? I think we were bored. Well, lesson oh, learned, eh? Sorry. Apologies. <laughs> My apologies. Well, then run off and okay. learn your lesson. <laughs> Picks up his stuff. Turn around. Leave the leave the vegetables. Okay. Uh, goes. <laughs> <laughs> goes and like empties the pockets of all the bodies of his friends and like fills the stuff. Like <laughs> kind of spits on one of them. I don't like him anyway. <laughs> and then darts off into the rest of the jungle. Oh. The apple's still kind of thrumming in your chest, like. <laughs> As you kind of glance over into the nearby 
mist Don't sets around you, <laughs> and you see it. It's almost like a like a uh, like the shade of a person kind of walks through and catches your eye, and then disappears into the mist. All right. Remember, I told you that guy. Am I allowed to speak? You can say it. Yeah. We're all one I, friends here. <laughs> Do you remember? Are you scared of that? <laughs> Do you remember how I told you that there, I knew the person who did the crime that I was blamed yeah, for? You, yeah, you revealed all of your secrets really quickly and easily. We, we didn't even ask. <laughs> Listen, I'm a little too vulnerable. <laughs> I'm an open wound. <laughs> um, that's the guy. What, the guy, what wait, guy? What? The face that just walked by. Did we see the face? I saw the face. Yeah. You, Did if, we see if the If you face? want to make a perception check. You get feverish, mate. Uh, it's a little terrifying. 17. 17. You look around the the mists as they kind of roll and push through this area. Now now that it's like later in the afternoon as well, like it's the mists are quite thick, um, and you do see almost like the shape of a person moving through, almost like it's circling around, <gasps> and it. begin to hear like a, That? I, 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 I couldn't make it out. It's my name. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's my name. Oh, so there's a I'm ghostly apple. Oh, you. I'm Wait, sorry. you have a ghost after you? Yeah. Wait, so the he's dead? Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> no. No. I don't understand. Wait, I don't, I'm a little bit confused myself. But, but, you know what? Let's just keep it. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. <laughs> the answer will present itself to us. <laughs> I, I think the answer will present itself to let us. Me, let me back up. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember how I said that that the guy who um, did the murder, right? Mm. Um, I thought it was him, not him. No. No. Okay. No. The person murdered. That's who it was. That you saw? That's the Are you right sure now. about that? You, yeah. you know what? Maybe know. don't Listen. go on record yet until no. we actually <laughs> see it. I can see why they didn't, they no, didn't leave an alibi. Yeah. This, this, this Did you actually kill the guy? I it seems no, locked. No, <laughs> no, I was a scapegoat in all this. Work. A skateboard? I was a scapegoat. <laughs> Insight <A> scapegoat? check. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> the truth is, I'm a skateboard. <laughs> so I'm calling an inside check. Can I call an inside <laughs> check? To be completely <laughs> open with you. <laughs> 60, so you um, like kickflips and stuff? Yeah, listen. 19, 19, 19 inside check. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> He's not a skateboard. <laughs> this is it. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure he's not a skateboard. Guys, I've okay, been through a lot, and I'm really traumatized. <laughs> yeah, I have been like on the so run. So I thought it was my enemy. Now I'm realizing that's the guy that they killed, <gasps> and I think he's haunting me. Well, thinking that. <laughs> I, again, I can I feel like you should just. You hear the special okay, voice go <laughs> through the mist. Says like, it's clarification. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I just think we need to put all our cards on the table. <laughs> <laughs> really, be honest. Okay. okay. So that's what's happening. Are okay. we all sharing backstory now? Is Please. That... It would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so that all that yeah. to say, oh, okay. that was terrifying. Yeah. No, that looked terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you seemed terrified. Yeah, I mean, you did drummed. You, you drummed with a little bit of nervousness yeah. that I haven't heard yet. I mean, did yeah. you guys not hear? No, we heard that. We, we, we all yeah. heard that. Yeah. 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 And I'm, yeah. So should we go go attack it or find it or? I don't think you can because it's a dead guy. It's a dead guy. It's a spirit. Look, However, I are... see this. I think that it went in that direction. Hey, we are the. We are the glorious ones. And we, we are the uh, go. We go. We, we go. <laughs> well, did you watch her like kind of emerge from the others? Is it safe to come out now? I'm oh, yeah, sorry I'm about that idea. Sure. <laughs> also, I'm sure she's sure. sure. quite distracted. Like a bell or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, oh well, really, loveliest day is long. Sister, still. Right. That, that's what I'm trying to yeah. help you. We should get moving. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're a distracted bunch, aren't we? That's right. There's a right, lot going right on. Right down this path. Oh, great. And we're not too far oh. from the coast. All right. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, look, a flower. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Gather around. Let's look at it. Please. <laughs> uh, real quick. Um, Mr. Rand, if I could just do one thing, and I go into my pack, and I pull out a little bandage and some, and some, what? Might be Bactine. We don't know. It's it's a fantasy Bactine. I put it on, and it's a. And I said here, and I just put it right on the on the 
on the wound wound yeah. that you had right there. Cool. And it is a unicorn bandage, but it's still good. Okay. Uh, still and uh, it, it works. And so you, uh, I'm going to use that to uh, cast Cure Wounds. So okay. you get... That's <laughs> um, eh, pretty good. Uh, six plus my spellcasting ability modifier. So nine he's, he's points he's of full. healing. You're Wonderful. back up to back normal. To wow. Oh, yeah. It's the unicorns, they really do it. in yeah. front of your face. Yeah. The bandage really sets off your eyes. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, if you want to step into the woods, All right. oh, I'm I, available. I don't, w I don't not want to, <laughs> but also, we really should focus. Right. Also, there's a ghost in the woods. That's right, so. Hey, ghosts are fine. I saw ghosts the all the time. For clarification, the ghost of the person. <laughs> 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 oh, I, I did, is there, is there something going on? No, yeah. no. We're dating. We are He's not my dating. boyfriend. He's not my girlfriend. He is. I, am. I, want, I really want to see where this He's goes. He's in love with mm. me. I'm not not in love. We, we have a, a not, situation ship. We, we, we can discuss later, I suppose. Let's get moving. Okay, oh. yes, your sister. Pushing, Pushing through the mist. Like that. <gasps> you can hear the sounds <gasps> of the nearby waves beginning to crash louder and louder as you approach the outskirts of the coastal region of this island. Mm. Eventually, the Thick jungle brush begins to give way to sand and rock, and you can begin to see the very edges of the ocean itself crashing upon the beach shores. She begins to walk onto the, the right-hand side of the cliffs that rise up alongside this beach that mark the edge of the island. Mm. Um, gliding you over to that area, um, you can still feel that like mm. golden thrum of the apple. Do not worry. I will grant you all you need. Protection and power is yours, mm. should you take it. That's so nice. Um, Everybody needs one of these. I know, that's what I'm saying. Give me a bite. Yeah. Following on, uh, eventually you come to the edge of this massive seaside cave entrance. You can see there's other smaller caves, but there's this massive opening that kind of curves over like an arch where the, the ocean in that kind of pulls in like a lagoon that's hidden within the cave itself. And she turns around, uh, Ligeia, we're not far from where we saw the ship. And you see like uh, another shape begin to emerge from the mist. It looks like another young woman. Uh, not different from her size. And the goes, sister, is that you? And she goes, oh, sister. And you see like, another woman kind of appear from one of the other seaside caves nearby, looking kind of like her as well, uh, redheaded. And then we see the other sister arrives, kind of like a dark auburn kind of coloration with a bit of like a blonde oh, wow. highlight. And um, yeah. as they step out, uh, the sister goes, you must come help us. The ship, the bad people are in the cave. Mm. Inside, terrible, terrible. Yeah, we're dealing with mental illness Terrible. Right <laughs> so both, both of you make insight checks for me, please. So roll d20s and add your insight. I don't even know if 15. I need to roll. 15. 15. And I'm doing insight. Okay. And I rolled a 10, so 16. 16. It's a 16. <laughs> Sixteen plus anything? Plus, plus five. 10, plus five. That's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, like they all seem pretty earnest. Um, you, one, you watch as they walk. Like another one of them kind of stumbles a moment and kind of oh, catches okay. themselves. And for a brief, for a brief moment, the 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 youth and beauty on their face seems to shimmer Ooh. away. And there's something sinister that lies beneath the face of one of the other, like the sister, the third figure that approaches. Because. Mm. My mother and sister appear to be safe, but the bad men are in the cave. Come, we must stop them. We gotta stop the bad men. I don't think so. No, they're telling mm. the truth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> did you just take an I did, I failed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really questioning the truth here. <laughs> Come, please. You've agreed to help me, haven't I you, did. handsome what? man? Oh, she's so hey, beautiful. I, I think first wait, wait, hold on. I always follow my bandmates. Thank you. Did you notice the face starting I, to change? I did not. I, did I was not just. I was. I was sort of okay. looking at Rand to sort of copy some of his moves. She does cool. this. She does the thing yeah. with his shoulders. It's she's really cool. cool. She clearly knows what she's talking oh, about. Oh, I Look thought you were cool. pointing. You were pointing at me. Yeah. Oh, well, you keep moving. It's really hard to point at you. But if you saw cool. something, then I saw their face. I saw their. I saw two faces change. All the. By the way, she said one sister. Did you notice four or five of the same being came out? We're dealing with severe mental illness. I did she said mother. She did say it. Yeah, said mom. she did say mom, and then she said sister. 
But also, can we also say that she said, I'm trying to find my sister way back. Now yeah. she's like, there's my sister. Like, there was no reunion. Yeah, there but no the bad men are in the cave. We should just go yeah. in the cave. Oh, great. Plus, I want to get those. But those. she was looking for maybe her we sister. Can, maybe we can draw them out. The somehow. ghost seems to pour out from the mists behind you. and You feel a cold touch on your shoulders. The voice says, every horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a movie. Huh? <laughs> Avenge me, son. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to stay outside with the apple. Alone? I think so. There's ghosts. There's a ghost behind you right now. The the sister that's arrived <laughs> yeah. has kind of fanned around to one side and has stepped into the water, and you can see her her steps get more confident amongst the waves. The mother from behind also steps in, and you watch as they all kind of look towards you with these sad, wide eyes. Oh, they're so sad. Oh, they're so, so wide. sad. I mean, I don't like that one, but the mom and the sister seem cool. They do seem. Cool. I don't know what I need to do. I to, don't either. To, to, <laughs> to convince you guys. I'm that convinced. It's... But what, what are we running? Are we are we drawing them out? Are we? I, can someone be bait? Can, There's a bad guys are in the I'm, cave. I'm flipping through my through my my guidebook of of interesting animals. Sister, they're talking so much. We don't <laughs> have time. Wait, I have a question. And I, the, uh, the 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 girl who brought you here, uh, Lygia, kind of looks a bit frustrated at the rest of your troop, and it's it's all right. They're they're quite capable, and I think. And you watch her kind of like drop her shoulders. Yeah. Curse this! We likely only need the blood of one of them. I need not <gasps> suffer any further fools than required. Ah, you. And you watch ah. as yeah. all of them, their image She's shifts slightly, and you watch as this kind of dark and twisted, elongated kind of uh, merfolk like appearance emerges from the illusion. Oh. Uh, the mother one in the back goes, hey, that's cool. oh, yeah. and is going to. Uh, right, right. I need the three closest to. I'm gonna remember. We'll see. I've been catfished. All so. right, so it's gonna be Bobby <laughs> and Bobby and Ran. I need you both to make wisdom saving throws. For okay. Me, okay. Fight it, Ran. And it's a uh, twenty. Yep. Fight. Yep. D twenty and add your wisdom. Ran, I gotta okay. say, you have terrible taste in women. Um, hey. Who will be the first? I'm gonna yeah. that. Uh, Nineteen. Woo! Nice. I'm hot. <laughs> You're wearing a dead rat <laughs> as a smock. Eleven. 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 I know it sounded like I had more to say, but it's right. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> All right. Uh, as this incantation leaves the lips, uh, Lygia kind of growling in your direction, you feel this this magical influence begin to try and curl its way past your mind. Your eyes instinctually begin to blink and tense, but you shrug it off. Your willpower too strong. Um, as all three of them begin to run into the cavern. Along with Bobby, who just goes into a, a sprint <gasps> after them. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Oh no. And oh, you are dominated and charmed. Bobby. I am dominated and charmed. Is oh. going to kill me? They always want virgins. Let's go. Oh. He's definitely a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I have a girlfriend in the mind. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. <laughs> you watch as Bobby vanishes into the mist-filled cavern alongside with the three strange siren-like women. Uh, remind me never to have kids. Well, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I've grown quite fond of him, and we probably should go after yeah, him. Yeah, we should. All right, <laughs> we're just gonna charge in. Ooh. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. 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 Critical Role stepped it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I? How does it work? Do I? Can I use one of these guys? Yeah, if you want to. So I have pass without trace. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um, so I would like to pass without trace. All right. So <laughs> you yeah. spend, you spend yeah. your action to uh, to cast the spell. Uh, d describe how you darken the shadows around you. How do you magically make the area easier for you all to pass unseen? Okay. Um, how do, do on here? Well, just tell me. Oh, describe, I just tell just you. describe how your magic works. How my magic works. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's, it's magic I have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, well, tip, it's with my drums. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's a certain uh, beat that I do that involves uh, a, a, the use of a pen and a hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use drumsticks for anything? Oh, how dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, there, it's a 3-2-3 three, three beat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so I'll go. God, I feel so stealthy now. <laughs> and that's how the shadows begin to do their magic. Now, it's wild. The, the rhythm, as it impacts, it reverberates around you, and it's almost like the very crevices where the light doesn't quite meet the interior of this cavern extend and surround you, and the drumming sound muffles outside of 10 feet. 
from where it's coming from to the point where it's now absolutely silent to anybody beyond where the, the group of you are walking. That's but awesome. as you all carefully and quietly begin to move through the rhythmic drumming, keeping you safe from being noticed, likely, I need all of you to make stealth checks for stealth me. Stealth check. Stealth check. So, so this roll is, a d20. You're going to roll, you're going to add stealth, and then you're going to add 10, ten to more. It. Whoa! Because of your nice. spell. Oh, okay. So I did 11. Ooh, 14. And so, uh, so nine, two. Uh, so that's 11, and then because and then of that spell that you cast, 21. everyone gets to add plus 10 to it. So that's 21 for that's you, awesome. So awesome. Mm. So what do you got, Bobby? Am I getting this? I thought I was done. Oh, no, it's oh, right, you're, right. you're, no. you're no. the one, sorry. I'm at 17. 17, all righty. Ooh, that was a and bad I roll. This number plus 10. That number plus 10 plus your oh, spell. Sweet. So I have 24 plus three, so 27. Ooh, Damn. 27, all righty. 30. Oh, yeah. snap! All righty. So here, under under cover of drumbeat, uh, <laughs> you slowly push into the seaside cavern. Now the waters of the ocean are pushing in and out of here, and it is about uh, knee high or so. So the smaller folk, it's about waist and chest high as you wade through uh, the drumbeat, keeping you quiet as you push. Um, the cavern continues to shift around and and loop into a darker region where you have no light source. Um, does anybody have a means of crafting light to see where you're going? Uh, I do have a torch, actually, You have a torch? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got three torches, actually. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you go ahead and light torch, kind of light it up. That's <laughs> <laughs> effective. All right. And kind of leading the slow crawl charge as you go through the winding cavern, eventually you can hear the distant echoes of kind of scratchy female voices chanting together. Mm. Uh, following through, the, uh, the darkness begins to give off its own soft light. You curl into what looks to be uh, the exit of this maze-like area. As you're moving, you uh, hear this cracking sound that echoes but is muffled off-sight. You move into this massive chamber that itself is dark, except for the water as you shift through. The plankton within seems to glow with each bit of movement and gives off this very soft, ambient glow as soon as you kind of trek through it um, within the chamber. You can see where uh, a bit of almost like a small landmass kind of emerges from the middle of it, and then a much larger landmass fills the back end of the cavern. The smaller one, uh, you can see the three women who are now in their true form have fish tails and are like wading through the water with like spines coming out of their skin, mm -hmm. their mouths like. T widely pulled back with That's sharpened what I teeth, saw. That's what kind I saw. of scraggly That's hair, and as they they chant and shift through the waters here, you can see there are these three altars that are built out of like collected and piled stone that kind of emerge from the water itself. One sitting on this small little bit of land that's pushing above the water line. Mm -hmm. On that altar, you see, kind of standing there, eyes wide open, is Bobby in his teenage glory. The pack that he had on his shoulder kind of left on the ground. Aww. And you hear that muffled cracking noise kind of come emanating from it. <gasps> um, you also see as, as they're chanting, the top of the altars are starting to glow, like glyphs of magical power are starting to thrum in movement with their chanting. And as the uh, the plankton begin to give off more light as they swirl around and seem to be dancing as part of this incantation within the chamber, the light kind of gives off the larger structure you see. There is a gargantuan, it looks like a like like a nightmarish crab entity that is currently parked on the back oh, end of the cave. The Witcher. These massive claws that are kind of tucked underneath, and you can see it's it's massive shell itself. It's a tangle of flotsam of sunken ships and spines that have grown out of it over time. There's barnacles that cover it entirely, and you see where the eyes would be. They're currently sucked and pulled in. It doesn't appear to be. Uh, present or conscious at the moment. <gasps> but as they all begin to chant oh, no. louder and louder, with Bobby at the front, you can see Bobby is now standing there and filling a chalice that is on there with a cut from his hand. Oh, poor Bobby! And you can see there's two other chalices sitting atop these other altars. <gasps> what do you do? Uh, we gotta get in there. How high are the ceilings? The ceiling is about 35 or so feet up, 40 feet up, and the shell of this creature, when it's sitting, is about 20 feet tall, and it's 50 feet from end to end. It is oh, whoa. massive. Oh my gosh. So we got a giant crab, we got that isn't awake yet. Three, three, three of these mermaid hag, witch hag things. Yep, mermaids. these siren creatures. Bobby spilling his blood, mm -hmm. and we're all in the- Bobby goes, yeah. <laughs> we're all in a little bit of water. <laughs> yes. But we can go up onto land. If you want to get to that, okay. but that's where Bobby is. That's where Bobby is. Okay. So we have to get past the hags to but get. But they haven't Bobby. noticed your approach yet because you yes. came in stealth. Okay, I'm just gonna say, 
I don't think we're gonna beat this crab thing, so maybe we, it's smash and grab? Do we just kind of get Bobby and get yeah, out get of Bobby here? and run. How long does okay. this last, the spell that we're under? Where 10 we're minutes, minutes, I believe. 10 minutes. Okay. What, if I, never hear of. what if I fly up in hour, there and launch a surprise attack on him and then we charge? We can I cast myself invisible yeah. and get behind them. Oh, you can go invisible? I can. I can make one. you and me invisible also. Okay, great. Or you, or whoever needs it. Aren't we already in there? No, no, we're, we're just very hidden in shadows, but we're not totally under. Oh, I can, I, can, I can make two people invisible. Oh, well, then we can all so four of us be invisible. Make ourselves invisible. Okay. Huh? And then we all strike at once. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. All right. Oh, I guess only one person needs to. Can I? Do you want me to lead the surprise? But wait. Who are we surprise attacking? The hag mer? The mer not, hag? Not the crab Not guy. the crab. We should try to stop it before yes. the crab guy gets I think if anybody gets the crab, you can get the crab. Yeah. Well, well, well he kind of already has I'm a, I'm a man of the night sheet, so honestly, I've got a little bit of the crab to begin with. <laughs> uh, probably are, yeah. As the, Wait, why are you itching? Because I slept with it. <laughs> you watch as the chalice as you're <laughs> conversing, the chalice fills. And as it does, the third altar begins to alight, oh, no. and you hear one of them say, Don't do long. May the dreamer awaken in our binds, no, the rend the, the land dreamer. above, and punish those who do not deserve your protection. And oh, as no. they all begin to glow, you we can see go. this uh, these kind of rune carvings on the shell begin to alight in a similar kind of reddish color of the red runes that are now kind of bright on the altars. And the the shell of this creature begins to shift faintly, oh, like no. it's beginning to stir from a slumber. What do you do? Can okay. I cast Counterspell to, to at least pause it? I don't think. Oh, it's, I don't think. Okay. it's a ritual. It's a ritual. Um, you could attempt to counter part of the ritual if you'd like. Okay. It's uh, also the same color as this, I'm noticing. It, it, uh, the, it is a coloration of it. The, the, the same glowing that's happening there seems to be happening. Here. It seems to be, yeah. <laughs> Although that, that that one is like a warmer, healthier red. This is like a darker, seedier oh, red. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you do what you do. You yeah. do what you want to do. I'm gonna try and cast a, a counter spell to at least slow down the uh, the rich, uh, whatever part of the ritual. Okay. Is so the one that right? one that's next to Bobby, you can see as it's currently standing there and finishing the chanting as the red glow's going. Uh, you describe how you counterspell. What, what sort of physicality do you give to it? So I, I, um, I, I whirl my hands. My hands glow a blue, Ooh, nice. and I clap them together and pull them apart. Nice. And this blue light nice. uh, emanates between, and I push it forth like this. <laughs> as you flick the energy outward, Let the kind go. of energy wave cascades <laughs> out, and as it pulls outward, I'll say. Go ahead and roll a d20, and then add your charisma modifier to it. Ah, okay. This will see if it's strong enough to break the ritual. And, and can I add this that. thing too? It oh, is an ability yeah. check, so you can, yeah. If you right. need it, if you need it. If I need it, yeah. So 10 plus six charisma, uh, so 16, and then uh, what, what else am I adding that? to that? And then oh, add, you and add that. your dice if you want to. If you want. I'll save it, actually. <gasps> I can always give you more. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's do it then. Which is <laughs> <laughs> three. Okay. So 19. So 19. Uh, as the energy waves off, you watch as the chalice that had just been filled, the red glow of it suddenly sparks and goes dark. Ooh. And you watch as the one siren goes, oh, what? What? Oh. And the as the, the runes begin to fade, the uh, massive crab creature kind of falls oh. back into a slumber, and they all go, what? What's happening? Fairy fire. Oh. Fairy fire? Yeah. Um. Okay. You put your hand out, and and currently the the shadows that kept you hidden between the flick of your counterspell light and the release of this energy, you watch as this uh, this bright energy begins to fill the space around you. What color does your fairy fire take? Uh, it's like a, a reddish orange color. It's like this bright kind of this 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 soft faint rain of little glowing wisps of red and orange kind of fall in the area, which means that all of the creatures, like sticks to the skin of all the creatures, which it kind of makes them glowing beacons. Mm. So uh, as they kind of look at themselves and glance over in the direction, they are now aware of your presence yes, and extremely pissed All of off. your attacks mm. have advantage against them now. Ooh. Ooh. Let's roll initiative for this encounter. Roll uh, initiative. All right. I, I'll roll initiative for saves. Hey. Hmm. Six plus nine, so nine again. I guess. Nine, okay. So 20 to 15, anybody? 20. Oh, wait. What was um, that? What was that? 15. What was that? Wait, what? Right here. Okay, I got 20. Oh. So. Oh. Great. All right. Oh, and you probably oh, have higher uh, You got 20 also? Yeah. Rollies! Uh, roll off. So both of you roll a d20 and Find see another you get tired. Another d20. We're doing rollies. <laughs> Ready? 10. 11. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Bo Bobby goes first. Yeah. Um, and then that'll bring us to Sarge. 
Then who got uh, 15 to 10? 15. All right, Scanlan. 10. All righty, and that brings us to Bramble. All right, and then Ram. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay. He's drunk. We still have a little bit too much. <laughs> so oh, you guys yeah. are still invisible. I, but we are not. Did we invisible. ever cast our invisibility? You cast your invisibility, but I mean, we, sure. We, 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 I all this stuff happened we, in the middle. We were we, talking we about it. We started talking about it, but never did it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it did, but you still have a spell slot. So it wasn't that's right. Uh, oh, that's so great. the top of the round, Bobby, you uh, you feel the domination just drop from you as the the rune in the center kind of shatters, and all of them kind of look about confused, the concentration dropping, and you suddenly have control of yourself once again. Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And you've made me angry. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to cast Wild Shape. Ooh. Okay. Which pull out my deck of cards. Uh, my little my little cards. I'm like, uh, 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 ah, there we go. And I am going to pull. And uh, uh, alpacas use spitting to defend themselves, and they are gentle animals, but not. Today and I'm going to transform into an alpaca. Okay, <laughs> you watch this little teenage card. Bobby. His body just sh sh morphs Whoa. and shifts into a battle alpaca. Nice. That's good. Yeah. And I'm gonna <laughs> fucking I'm gonna charge uh, whoever, whatever. Uh, Are you circle the moon? Uh, I I believe I am. Wait, I should be circle the moon. Where is my? So you are. It's a it's a, then it is a bonus action to transform. Uh, you can still take an action. I, no, I'm not. I'm I'm circle the shepherd. Okay, so so it's an action to shape shift, but you still have a bonus action if you want to and can move. And I was going to say, can I? If I get uh, running speed enough, can I? Is there ramming possible or not? Uh, not with an action. Oh, okay, available, that's fair. But you can transform now if you'd like to. Uh, so you're setting up for next turn. Yes, I am, and okay. I'm gonna. God, you guys are so. Good. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna run in and like and like get in their face. The okay, so now I'm <laughs> just gets in and starts like harrowing them. <laughs> What? What? The child! Wet alpaca. Sarge, you're up now with Scanlan on deck. All right. Uh, wait, pull up my alpaca notes. Uh, so, it's your turn now. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, my. I'm gonna do blowgun again. Okay. And I'm going to tr direct my dart right in between the crab's temple. Okay, like so you're, fi you're firing at the massive crab? Okay. Yeah, but a spot that's a pretty good aim, hopefully, mm -hmm. and it gets right there, full Goliath technique, knock it out. Okay, okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll uh, both of your bo your blowgun attacks if you'd like to. Both of my blowgun attacks. This is the first, and it's a 13. Plus. 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 Six. Plus six so nice. is. 19. A 19, 19 misses. Oh no! It's, it strikes, 19 misses. Well, it hits, but the shell of its body is extremely tough and armored. Uh -oh. You watch as it just. We don't kind of want to fight the crab. Off of it. We don't want to fight the crab. We don't want to fight the crab. Did we already decide that? The, well, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Well, then I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna. I have another one, right? You have another. It'd be blowgun, or it could be with any other weapon. I'm gonna time. short sword it. Okay, so you're gonna pull out your short sword. I'm gonna short sword up there. To and the I'm crab gonna, or to the hat? To the crab. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna acrobat uh, my way. Okay. And since the dart didn't get it, I'm gonna dig the dagger right into that spot of the crab. Okay, okay. So make an acrobatics check for me as you kind of leap up off of one of the the ritual cairns that are like pushing out and attempt to <laughs> spin in the air to plunge it down. Make yeah. an acrobatics check. So go ahead and roll D twenty and add your acrobatics skill. Right in the acrobatics skill. Right there, um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, money. Ten. Sixteen. Sixteen's not bad. Uh, you 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 manage to succeed, but barely. As you leap off the cairn, it's a little slippery, and you kind of catch yourself, and you splash into the water, but you tumble through, and then pick back up using that momentum to strike yeah. downward. I Go hold ahead. up a sign that says eight. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll with your short sword. With my short sword. Indeed. So nice. go ahead and roll a d20 and add oh, your yes, add your plus six. 14. Plus six is 20. 20, 20 is exactly what you Woo! need to hit. Hey! So go ahead and roll damage with your short sword. That's 1d6 plus three, I think. Okay. That's the regular dice. It's the regular dice. Yeah, the square one. And then I roll, just roll this mm -hmm. and add that to five. Uh, to three. To three. So eight. Eight damage, right. all right. So eight slashing damage. You plunge it down, it carves down in through the hard exterior, and as it plunges inward, you feel this bassy that kind of growls from within. Oh no. And you watch as the two kind of hollow holes in the shell, two of these 
large eye stalks. Oh, I think you've opened him up. I think you've opened him up, Sarge. Oh, I thought he was already awake. I guess Karen's about to stop it. Maybe I should get here. <laughs> That's all good. But it's 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 it's. We gotta, we gotta find the crowd. <laughs> Now, uh, as, as you strike it begins to wake up, you watch as the three sirens turn and go, Not yet! The rituals are complete! We can't control it! Oh no. Oh no. Well, oh. You're welcome. Scanlan, it's your turn. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> I'm going for the crab now. Oh uh, no. Okay. Um, I, will, uh, I will look dead in the eye of Lygia mm -hmm. and cast <laughs> vicious mockery. <laughs> I will say, you know why my friend Ran here didn't want to get with you, right? He's out there. Because you're shellfish. Woo! Ooh. That's a wisdom saving throw? <laughs> yeah. Natural five. Oh, wow. constant, no wisdom, you're right. Uh, the, yes, she fails. She fails. Um, so you cut deep into her spirit. <laughs> that looks like her. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. That pun uh, hurts. Yes, she takes <laughs> six points of damage. Six points oh, of my damage. God, that pun hurts all of us. <laughs> uh, and then Alrighty. I will turn to my my good pal uh, Sarge. Thank you. <laughs> whose name has always been Sarge. <laughs> uh, it used to be Fred. <laughs> and I will inspire him. Uh, I will inspire him with a song. My rousing voice it will uh, inspire you in battle. Yeah. I will. I will sing. Hailing takes me away <laughs> to where I like to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me, hailing the dice to carry me. It's Arch. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> soon I will be. Ding ding ding. And then I immediately <laughs> you get an extra D8. <laughs> I get an extra D8. On, on the next roll of your choice. On the you next spend roll it to add it to whatever roll you'd make. Yes. So, so I Here, I'll now. give you Not now, but when you can just later. Just keep this one, and you can use that for something special later. Well, that was very kind of you. Does that finish your turn, Scanlon? Uh, yes, I'm still going to stay away from these things. All righty. So you stay back towards the, the front of the cave where you first entered. Yes. Um, oh, God. All right, it's now the crab's go. <laughs> uh, as That's the you, ghost! <laughs> there is a ghost back there. As you... <laughs> Pull the blade free, and yeah. you watch the eye stalks emerge, and it begins to shift and move. Oh no! You watch the water kind of flow off of its massive claws that begin to pull up from underneath. Yeah. The whole cave begins to quake as it slams into one side and slams into the other, and these massive claws, it just starts swinging at whatever's closest to it, which right now is you. Oh no, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Sarge. 20 to hit. Yes, that's so it. Can I, okay. So, so your armor class means. is 17, I believe. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah. That definitely hits you. And okay. the second strike. What hits me? His attack. The His attack. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cutting words the second attack. Okay. The second attack was an 18. Okay. I'm going to cutting uh, yes, uh, as I see it attacking, uh, I pull out my uh, I pull out my loot, but I don't play it. I do I do a drum fill that I had seen uh, this one do. Yeah. Uh, I just like started. This, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of the eye socks looks over. Yep. All right, to distract so, it. So roll to see if you can reduce it. Yeah, what do I roll? I mean, I haven't done this in so long. Uh, cutting it, words, I roll a... It's a d8 still. It's your okay, great. Uh, it's, so yes. it's, you have a 17 AC and I rolled an 18 to hit, so you need to get a three or higher. I got a four. Got Yay! a four, okay. So the first the first claw does hit you, uh, oh, like, and it slap, snaps into you and like crushes your body and pushes you underwater for Woo! a minute. The pain rocks through you. It is like um, a for <laughs> I've seen this, it's better. Yeah, you're right. That is uh, 23 points of damage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Sarge! So I'm only six left. You have six points left. <laughs> you have six <laughs> points I'm left. Don't get hit by the ground! <laughs> it lifts you up. And as it's holding you in its grasp, its other claw, which looks sharper, it's small, it's slightly smaller, but it has a sharper edge, pulls back to try and swing towards you into what you uh. think in the moment is the last moments of your life before this drum fill comes through the darkness and the eyes turn to the side and the claw just goes wide and it drops you into the water. Okay, okay, you catch okay, yourself. Okay. Six points. Your next yeah. What you can do during your move is have your... My primal companion. You can do things. He can do she can Ethel, do yeah. Um, no, okay, great. I, will, I don't have an I attack, you, do I? Uh, not yet. Don't bring him back to your turn. Great, great, great. It is now the sirens' turns. Oh god! So, Crab uh, sirens. Okay. I about these turns. <laughs> Just when we're in combat. Just when we're in combat. Don't worry. Um, so with that, the the first siren is angrily freaking out. It's going to look over towards the crab and it's attempt to to calm it. 
uh, using one of its own incantations. Uh, the crab resists with the super high uh, save, and the, the, the uh, siren goes, ah, curse it! Ah, we, we can't put it down! Uh, one of the other ones is going to look over towards the rest of you and kind of, you did this! Uh, and he's going to go ahead and pull back. And now toward the, the back of the chamber, those who haven't moved forward um, are you three. Yes. Currently, I, yes. Mm-hmm. you're very fired, yeah. right but you, but you didn't, move, true, forward. didn't move, forward. move forward. So the three of you watch as this bead of light shoots in your direction, and it vanishes for a moment before a blast of flame surrounds you. A fireball explodes in your vicinity. So I need the three of you to make dexterity saving throws okay. for me, please. Just, so, the, just the three of them. Just the three of them. Okay. Not the uh, alpaca. Ten, not not this good. Two. Yeah, you got that. Yeah. 16. 16. 11. 12. 12. Ugh. Both of you take 24 points of fire Ooh! damage. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, you take boy. 12 points of fire damage. Oh, gosh. Okay. You okay, pal? Okay, five. <laughs> 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 My cloak is burning. Wait. And the last one is going to go ahead and uh, attempt to grab you hmm. to try yeah. and force your hand back <laughs> onto the altar. To try and recomplete the ritual it had finished earlier, so it's going to be uh, contested athletics rolls. So as an alpaca, I need you to roll with the alpaca strength. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, does armor class mean anything for that? For, the, for that, unfortunately, no. For that, no. no. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Spells and oh, oh, spell oh. save. Uh, does that mean? Oh, that that that's the power of your spell. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, gotcha. yeah. No worries. I just want to be better. I know. Good looking. Up. Uh, <laughs> so it's a strength roll. Contested strength. strength? Roll, yeah. Four. <laughs> oh, you rush in as an alpaca, and it just grabs you and like slams your head into the altar, You're like, uh, and it's trying to like push you towards this ritual where the blood had spilt, and you can see the runes are starting to glow in the proximity of where you are, almost like the blood that was already put in the chalice and spilled is still connected to you, and uh, it's starting to alight the ritual slowly as it pushes you in. That's going to finish its go. Bramble, you're up with Ran on deck. I feel like we got to get Bobby and get out of here. It's so. <laughs> in danger zone. They haven't raged yet. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that you do. Yeah, but if I rage, it drops fairy fire, but nobody's hit anything yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Uh, I hit the crab. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't fairy fired. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, you got a fairy fire? What is that? This yeah. just means you got advantage on attacks. Oh, God. Against the sirens. Against the sirens. Oh, the sirens are easier to hit for now. Mm-hmm. Unless you rage. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Bramble? <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm in a rage! Yeah! Okay. The fairy fire fades oh. away and the spell drops as you turn into the angriest fairy <gasps> that's ever fairied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fly forward okay. and attack Lygia because she's going to hit on my boyfriend. Go for it. Go for it. Turn you on and all? A little bit, I won't lie. Uh, <laughs> all right, go for the attack rolls. Okay. Oh god, I haven't rolled that. No one misses unless it's like a, a nine. Nope, that misses. Okay, 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 okay. I should have just not raged. <gasps> Remember. Okay, that one hits. You can also attack recklessly if you feel like it. I can. Advantage. As a, as a barbarian, you have an ability called Reckless Attack, yeah, you can, where you, you can, can roll twice and take the higher, you get advantage, yeah, you can but get then advantage attacks against you have advantage. Oh, I should have done that. I'll allow you to take that second roll as your first attack if you want to. Okay, that one hits. You're not used to barbarians, so I'll allow it. Okay, <laughs> and now I roll again with a Reckless Attack. Yeah, that's... Yeah, double the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just means just that all attacks against you have advantage. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, the next one is uh, 17. To 17 hit. hits as well, both okay, hit. Great. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna fly down and I'm gonna like land on her back. And I'm gonna try to slash her neck with my axe. The first one. And then after I slash it, I'm gonna stab the sword into it. So Big old elongated gnashing teeth as she begins growling and thrashing about angrily with you clutching onto her back. Okay, seven points of damage on the first she one. Already. <laughs> she wasn't uh, Nine points of damage on the second one. Nine points of damage already. And then for my. Oh wait, I had bonus action. Yeah. I'm gonna try to fly away with the rest of my movement. How far away can I get? I mean, you can get as far back as you, you flew. You flew in 20 feet, I'd say, to get to them. So I've got 30 feet left. Correct. So I'm gonna fly st- uh, straight up. 
up and back, so I'm away from everybody else and like up in the ceiling of okay. the cage. Okay, she's gonna go ahead and make an attack of opportunity against you as you try uh -huh. and fly out of her combat rage. Ah, lashes out with these clawed fingers. She gets disadvantage on that. She she has advantage because you did your. Uh, okay, so it's just so it's just a straight roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so using her stupefying <laughs> touch. Sorry, okay, you'll watch this. Uh, so you'll good. watch this and repeat. And, and this is going to be a fourteen. Is a fourteen hit? <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it does not. What's your AC? A Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> the attack goes wide as you <laughs> carve up into the air. Blades drawn at the roof of the cavern, looking Flip down. Flip her off as I fly backwards. <laughs> Perfect. Am I allowed to flip people off in this game? Well, yes. we've done it. So oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Ran, it's your it's turn. For the children. With Bobby on deck. <laughs> I'm so weak now. Um. I've got to get Bobby out of there. Nope. So, nah. uh, so, 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 uh, so, if you're looking in the chamber from the far back, you see there's there's the the central ritual uh, platform and then two others in the water. Mm -hmm. The center one is where Bobby is, and that's where one of the that's where uh, Lygia is. Uh -huh. The two other sisters are by the two other ritual chambers. Um, you can see that uh, Sarge has moved all the way to the back, which is right in front of the massive crab that just kind of grabbed him and threw him into the ground. Uh -huh. And you were all kind of towards the front of the cave. And the fire on the wall, is that uh, an issue anymore? No, that, that, that dissipated. It was just a singular explosion and then it vanished. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack uh, one of the... Um, uh, the, 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 the siren girls. The siren girls. Uh, there's the two. There's two that have been hurt on the sides, and then there's the, there's Lygia, which she just attacked. That's that looks pretty hurt. She looks pretty hurt. Uh, I am going to attack Lygia. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put my uh, hexblade curse on her. Okay. <gasps> how do you how do you curse her with your with your? So blade? first, I call my my hexblade from the sky, <laughs> <laughs> and I say I say. Darling, here comes the just desserts. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. As the blade appears and you, you the, the words leave your mouth, they kind of echo. Desserts, 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 desserts. <laughs> and you watch as these like blackened tendrils seem to curl up from the water beneath and begin to wiggle around her. This like black shadow energy that's now kind of grasping and slithering around her torso. <laughs> As you begin to close the distance, are you going with your blade? I'm going with my blade. All righty, so you rush in through the water, <laughs> splashing behind you, and you can go ahead and make your two strikes. All right. All right, so do I do it individually or at the same time? It doesn't matter. Same, up to you. All right. So six and a nine. Oh, well, you have to roll the hit first. Oh, oh. Nice. That's all good. You can keep those if you like, though. I, I think I will. <laughs> One. Oh, so the first attack goes wide. Woof, she, she kind of, for a brief moment, as you're rushing towards her, her image flitters back to that beautiful face and looks so sad, and it just shakes you enough to the point where you swing, and she just dodges out of the way. <laughs> but you have two strikes. You swing with the second one. Go ahead and roll for the second attack. So nine. Uh, so nine plus six. Plus right? six, so fifteen. Fifteen hits. So, t so what's the damage value on that one? And so the value. Uh, sorry, on on these. Yes. Okay, so it's it's two. It's it's. I add these both together, right? Correct. And then so add fifteen plus three, eighteen. Oh, and plus six. Uh, or, sorry, right? Is that it's, it's the plus three on the damage. Plus three. On the but damage. then you also add plus three because of your hexblade's curse. And and plus three because of, okay. So that's great. So it's eleven plus six, seventeen, so 17. points of damage. How do you want to do <gasps> this? Ooh! How, 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 so d describe your 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 blow, your your final strike on her. So I miss that first strike, and I look her in the face and see it. <laughs> And I say, I've said it once. I'll, I'll say it again. No one laughs at me. And I pull the blade up, and I cleave her in half Ooh! from, the, from the, uh, the bottom up. The water itself like splashes upward, like it's its own extension of the blade, <laughs> and it meets with the shadow as the arc of the sword kind of glistens in the glowing light. Wow. The the glowing blue plankton in the water matching the blue color of your magic. Ooh. And as the strike cuts through, her laughter cuts short. <laughs> And the top half slides off anime style before splashing That's into it. the water. Wow. I've got a girlfriend. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Even through my rage. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty, that's going to finish uh, your turn around. That brings us to Bobby with Sarge on deck. Um, I am going to, uh, in a panic, uh, drop my form. And then I'm just going to. Oh. It's time that you met my friends, and I'm going to conjure animals. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, what are you conjuring? I am conjuring out of the water. Just jumps a walrus. 
<laughs> and it makes its way over, and it's just it's fucking ready for this shit. Big man. All right, so against the two, well, what are the two sirens? Uh, the one that's right, like the one that was right on on top of the there. So got you. Okay, one, cool. The one who's trying to to bleed me. Oh, out. You tell us. Okay, go uh, he's going to use his tusks oh, yeah, not just yeah, for defense, just go, and not just to help him get out of the water, which he can do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to uh, attack with his tusks, uh, which yeah. is uh, a melee yeah, weapon. Uh, so it's plus four to hit. Go for it. Uh, uh, that's 11. <laughs> Eleven's gonna miss, unfortunately. Walrus, goo goo, good boo. So yeah, it attacks, and, and he, he goes woof, and the siren just kind of like. Push them out of the way. <laughs> There's more where that came from. <laughs> See, back in the water, uh, Ethel's still kind of prowling, waiting for the signal to get in there. Which, on your turn, you can, as a bonus action, yeah. send Ethel in this strike yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is, it is your turn. What yeah. do you want to do? There's now like the massive crab that's kind of awakened. Yep. You see, it's kind of thrashing yep. about or whatever's in the vicinity. You're right in front of it. Yep. What do you want to do? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my short sword again. Okay. And I'm going to the goal is to the eyes to cut both eyes off of the okay. crab of the crab okay. okay cut the eyes off when that happens ethel is going to jump in and just maul the crab you got it okay so so uh, as the crab is getting up one of the eye stalks is right there as it's moving uh, it's going to be harder to hit but the hit will have a more significant impact so go ahead and roll to see, with your first hit to see if you can strike it okay come on come on Ah, frick. Two. Two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're going to swing for the eye stalk just as the crab kind of lifts up. You see its legs now starting to pick up its weight ah. as it's growing more and more awake, and it just gets right out of your reach. Ah. It settles its body weight ah. onto its large crab legs. They're not like outside of the water. As it descends under the shifting of its weight, the eye stalks come into perspective again. You can take a second strike with your other short sword if you'd like to. Okay. I can take a second. You can yes. take two strikes, yeah. Come on. Come on, mama. Come on. 19. Woo! 19 plus six? 19 plus six. 25, that'll definitely hit. Go yes. ahead and roll damage. Roll a d6 plus three. A d6 plus three. And I'll say because That's it's a square th dice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm looking at my father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frick. It's a one. That's I wanted to say another F word. <laughs> <laughs> but the children. Phalange the children. So there it is, that's one. the one. <laughs> Fibula also is so one, accepted. So that's not good. No, but so one, one plus three is still four points of damage. Okay, four points. So that's points four of points of damage to it. Um, but it is temporarily blinded in that eye. Oh, so it doesn't right. do a lot of damage, but the eye stalk descends back in, and you hear this <laughs> on the inside as it starts like shifting into space, slamming into the sides, causing rocks and things to fall from the ceiling. Spoosh, nice, spoosh, nice, nice, spoosh nice, nice, into the water. Nice. Oh, um, Ethel companion can go at it, right? Indeed. And because it's blinded currently, yeah. uh, Ethel has advantage on the attack roll. So okay. go ahead and roll twice and take the higher number for Ethel. All right, Ethel. I'm gonna roll twice. Uh, that's a one. Okay, that's oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's not good. That's a five. Oh. <laughs> I feel you. Oh. So <laughs> Ethel's pissed. Ethel's very angry. Ethel. Ethel leaps onto the front of it, like claws out, and is just holding on. Tries to strike, but it's like <laughs> scraping on its back. As Ethel looks back on you, like, yeah, like oh. what do I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, are you going to stay up close with it, or do you try and move somewhere? Um, am I going to stay up close with it and try to move? Well, I'm going to get tell Ethel to get down. Okay, Ethel. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> gets down. the water next to you. And then I think I'm going to use a uh, one of my things. Uh, you've used your can't action to cat to attack, so you have to do the next round. But you mm -hmm. can, you can prepare it. But you can run away because if he hits you again, you're gonna. I'm going to run away. Okay. Yeah. So you move behind. Uh, it does get one attack oh, on you as you move out of the range, but it has disadvantage it. on the attack because it's blinded this round. It's got a so, disadvantage because it's blind. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be <laughs> a 14 and a natural 3, Ooh, which good. brings it to a 13. Oh, wow. Hit. So, so I only have armor. six points. No, so your, ar fine. your armor AC class is 17, 17. So, it, hit. Oh, so it misses nice. you. So oh, great, thankfully, because you blinded it, its secondary sharpened claw swings wide towards you as you dart back out of the way. Your smaller halfling form already far and away from where it snaps. 
it catches nothing in the air. Great. And you manage to pull away back up to where some of your friends are at the other side of the case. Sarge, oh, we lucky. can't lose you. We don't have another and drummer. And while I'm running away, I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Scanlon, you're up. Oh, shoot. There's two more uh, merhags. Mm -hmm. There are, yes. And okay. the... And the um, the other like ritual uh, Karens themselves are still glowing, but the third one has not been able. Those to... ritual Karens. They are they Karens. Are, yes. yeah. Yeah. They really Karens. Are. Uh, Karens. <laughs> well, C A R N. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, this this is the Karen I trio. See a very, very cut on these sirens. They like to speak to the manager of this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, scariest will, part of the I will step forward and I will try to cast uh, Hold Person on both of the Karens. On both of them, okay. Yes. At level mm. three, I believe I can do that. Can. At higher levels, when you you can target one additional yeah, humanoid, okay. yes. Uh, I, mm. Roll an Arcana check for me real fast. Oh, they're not humanoids, are they? Uh, mm. uh, 19. 19. You're about to prepare the spell, and based on their nature, you get the sense that they may not be considered humanoid, and the spell may not have an effect. They seem to be more fey in nature. But, Oopy doopies. But you can make a different choice. Gosh darn it, I feel bad doing my. Yeah, you blew it. I blew I, I, <laughs> it. It was peace signs. I blew it with peace signs. Okay, wait. Before I make my move, are we running? What's we happening? We should get here? out of here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay then. If that's an I don't know. <laughs> we already we got one of them. However, the grab is really strong. I yeah. know. I think we need to. We can do this. We've got a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I walrus run, is like. <laughs> if I run up to where they are, are my friends around them? Are they? Are we in proximity or? Uh, they're, they're they're within twenty feet of you, but but most of them have moved back towards the entrance of the cave. Okay. Except for you, who you're flying up at the top. Uh, I'm gonna then I, I'm gonna run up between the two uh, sirens. Yeah. I'm gonna run up between them, and uh, I'm gonna say, uh, "Ladies, do you <laughs> like my accent? <laughs> focus, focus right here, and then thunder wave them both." Yeah. Oh, oh dang, okay. Three. <laughs> Might yet charm as hell, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Did you give him your apple? No. Oh, what does that thing do? Oh yeah. Do use the apple. Maybe it blows the up the apple. room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're gonna thunder wave towards two of them. Yes. Uh, which Constitution you can, sixteen. Yeah, you can just catch the two of them in that one area. So <laughs> one of them is uh, that's gonna be a thirteen. Fail. And the other is gonna be a fourteen. Both fail. Fail. Give me a D eight over here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, seven and. Another nine. That's 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage to mm. each of them. Woof! The impact, poof, as it blasts out, the, the massive concussive explosion of sound and thunderous energy that shoof, like, like, a, like a, a small localized detonation of a lightning bolt scattering, uh, sends both of them flying about 10, 15 feet back from where they are, hitting the edges of the rock and kind of like catching themselves. You can see the stone cairns where the ritual were there also get blasted apart. The stack stones <gasps> go scattering against the wall and all of their energy light vanishes. Amazing. When that happens, they both go, it's unleashed, it's unleashed. Oh boy. <laughs> um, both of them are, are looking hurt. And as a bonus action, I'll inspire Ran. Okay. By singing. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ran. Oh. Can you do the ran ran? Can you do the ran ran? Can you do the ran ran ran? <laughs> 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 Early days were rough. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. That finishes your go. It is now the crab's go. Now, because you've moved away from its. He's up. He's awake. He's yeah. Uh, because you moved away, you're not the closest thing to it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, is, is Ethel the closest thing <gasps> to it? Or is Ethel moved back with you? Ethel is with me. Okay, so Ethel retracted with you. You're up in the ceiling. I and did see some. Indeed. You, Scanlan, since you moved forward, you're... Yeah, bring it. Roll a d6 for me. <laughs> me? On a, yes, on a five or six, it doesn't go after you. It's a three. All right. The crab's gonna come forward, both claws drawn, and move into the center. After you blow both of them back, you look up, just as it... <laughs> it's gonna arc towards you. For I will a, uh, cutting words this. Okay, it's a 23. Oh boy. I don't oh. think that's going to make much difference then. <laughs> All right, so you're going to hold off on that one then? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first the big claw hits, and then the bladed one. Hit who? Who? Uh, who that's going to be a 13 to hit. Hit you? That doesn't hit. 
Okay, so the first one comes down towards you, the second one goes wide. But for that one, you take... That's gonna be 27 points of damage. I'm knocked Ooh. unconscious. Scanlan! Scanlan! It was nice knowing you. <laughs> you watch as the the, the hook of that. its massive claw <laughs> catches Scanlan and then <laughs> like flexes, and you watch him yeah. tense and then go limp in the claw. Tell my story! I will. Do it with accent. <laughs> my story. <laughs> <laughs> Limp in its, in its grasp, the two of the sirens are going to flee. They both are going to run towards the entryway and try and push past you, swimming through the water. Um, as part of that, uh, you get an attack of opportunity on one of them if you'd like, uh, as do you. Mm. So both of you get a free attack on each of them as they swim past. I'll take it. So go ahead and roll a d20 and add Come your on. six. Come on. Add my six. Just. Nine, uh, 15? Roll so the 15. 20. That hits, go ahead and roll your damage for your greatsword. sword. this for hours. <laughs> <laughs> he got a 19, he's fine. He's oh fine. yeah, so roll your 1d6 plus uh, so uh, three. Seven plus, oh. mock me. <laughs> so, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, okay. so, so, so I do, these combine plus three for damage, Correct. right? Yes, so, so, and, uh, so, so 10. 10 points of damage, you got it, okay. So you hack one, and it takes the hit. It's barely holding on, but it's still alive and trying to swim out and flee from this scenario. Mm. You rolled how much damage? I roll um, a three. A three? Plus, no. Plus three? Plus six. So six damage. All right, same thing. It's struck, it's looking pretty hurt, but they're most like swimming past, like tending to just escape from this, this scenario that's turned entirely against their intent. Um, that's going to finish their go. Bramble, you're up with Ran on deck. I'm going to fly down and attack one. All right. Dive bombing from above the cavern. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Reckless. Reckless. Go for it. Great, thank you. Reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. That hits. No. Oh God. Ah. Speaking of reckless. Ooh, ten plus four. Ten plus fourteen four. points of damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> okay, that oh, first no. one. I'm gonna fly down, and I'm gonna like fly down and grab a hold of her hair. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna battle axe around her neck and like slam it into the, oh, the front. God. It, it, it barely finds any sort of resistance as it just carves through and the head comes free. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, my God. God. As, as you hold it up, you see its eyes still going like. <laughs> It's all moving around, nice. just still aware of its surroundings for the moments before it eventually passes entirely. And then there's one left. Yeah. That's so like, oh, I'm gonna the stick the. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna stick the head onto my uh, long sword and I'm gonna slam it into the other one. <laughs> You're gonna bludgeon one with the head of the yeah. other. Hell yeah! Go ahead and roll for your attack okay. on the other one. Grossness. Reckless. This is great. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-one. That hits. Go ahead and no, roll. No, twenty-three. Down. Even, even better. better. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Uh, also, 14 points of wow. damage! How do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna slam it into her head with her other head, and then I'm just gonna keep hitting her oh. with the <laughs> head. God. Why does this turn me on so much? What's <laughs> wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> and with my bonus action, mm -hmm. I'm gonna dash over to Scanlan. Okay. You dash over to Scanlan, who is still in the claws of, of the the massive crab creature. So mm. you can like smooth over and oh. glance up towards it, and he's kind of just flailing in its grasp. Um, oh, but, he's in the claws, and yeah. I flew down. I just the urine is just pouring down. <laughs> <laughs> Cascade. Uh, Perfect. Cascading. Yeah. Uh, keep it flowing. Uh, All right, Ran, you're up. Uh, me? No, me. Ran, you're up. Ran. <clears throat> um. I think we need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> like we've been saying, but from a distance, I'm going to uh, Eldritch Blast, uh, trying to aim for this this crab's eyes. Okay. Um, from a distance to kind of like help us escape uh, if we can. Certainly. Uh, so I, I, I Eldritch Blast Do it. Uh, at the crab. Um, so go ahead and roll uh, towards the eyes. It has a higher armor class, so so you have to roll a 23 or higher to hit ooh, the eye. Ooh, oh. You got this. You got oh. this. You got this. Right. You do it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Come on, glory. We're the glorious ones. No, nope. oh! we're not glorious. That's a two. That's a two. <laughs> Oof, it yeah. goes wide and <laughs> hits part of the top of the cave and kind of flashes. Oh, I should be smarter than this. Oh, I should have like. Anyway, okay, okay. 
Um, oh, I get two blast. I get, get two, two shots. Get two blast, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can I do a perception check? Sure. What's the ceiling look like? What's, what's the... Make a perception check for okay. me. Six plus uh, perceptions uh, two plus two, so eight. Eight. It's hard to see in the low light up here, but you I mean it is. It is a rock cavern, and as it's been shifting and slamming into the sides, you've watched small boulders and things fall from above. That's that's all you know, though. I'm gonna try and blast the the uh, the roof of the. Uh, what do we call it? A roof in a cave? Yeah, yeah, sure. 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 Ceiling. Sure. Select. Okay. okay. <laughs> so and I blast up above it. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack. Come on. Uh, so sorry. So rolling attack. I, 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 this, these yep. Ones, just yeah. uh, just roll the dice again and see if you can aim for something that looks like it might so be eight. Yeah, and then I'm gonna add this guy. Go for it. Three. So eleven plus six. six. Plus six. So seventeen. Seventeen. So as you release upward, kind of remembering where most of the smaller rocks had fallen earlier, right? As it's kind of shifting forward into the center, you kind of hail mary it upward and fire, and it blasts into the top. Go ahead and roll the damage for your eldritch blast for me. Mm. Okay. That is a D10 plus three. Two plus three, so five. <laughs> okay. It slams into it and bursts, and you watch a couple more bits of rock kind of like, but larger chunks fall, hitting the top of it, and it seems to smash onto the back of its shell, and it kind of like gets pushed down a little bit. Not enough to fully uh, leave it in a bad place, but you do notice that the ceiling does give a bit from the impact. Okay. Ceiling's falling down. Yeah, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, just a right. little bit. Uh, and then I, I can still move, right? You can still move so I'm like... gonna back away towards the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the uh, towards the entrance of the. But cave. in a brave way. But in a brave it. way. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. Finishing your go, Bobby. You're up with Sarge on deck. Is Scanlan still in its claw? I'm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna run that. up towards Scanlan since I'm now uh, kind of clear, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna run up and kind of jump and try and tap. Scanlan's foot, because I believe in Scanlan. Scanlan's been so nice to me, or at least hasn't yelled at me okay. uh, today. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna run, I'm gonna tap Scanlan, and I'm just gonna have like one of those little band-aids in my hand, I'm gonna get right on your ankle, and I'm gonna <laughs> cure wounds at uh, level two. Okay, so 2d8 plus 2D8 your wisdom modifier. Plus my wisdom modifier. Uh, I have a button for that, there we are. Uh, that's not an eight, where's my eight? I'll just pull it twice. Uh, that's... Six. That's, that's six. So, and wisdom modifier is three. So, that's 15 points of healing. Amazing. And then I'm going to jump back and I'm going to reach into like this little thing on my belt that's a, I'm going to pull off a bobble that has an image of a bear. I'm going to, it's time for everyone to see my true power. And I'm going to throw it down <laughs> and I'm going to cast, uh, I love uh, not cast, but I'm going to. Uh, Summon uh, the totem of the bear, and a big glowing translucent bear shows up and goes, And everyone within uh, 30 feet of this bear, and I'm going to position it appropriately, has 10 temporary hit points now Ooh, and wow. advantage on uh, uh, strength checks and saves. Whoa. And so, while all this is happening, the walrus is going to come in and just and just try and bite. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so, so the temporary hit points is kind of like a buffer shield on top, so you don't heal. But any damage you take next, come ten off the 10 long. points oh, first. Okay. And I'm going to attack uh, 11 to hit. <laughs> the walrus slams into the crab, <laughs> does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but Scalin, oh, you come to consciousness while still being held aloft by the and claw of this massive ten, crab. Uh, temporary hit points wow. on top of that. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. That I, it, Bobby Socks, that is the most useful bear I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bobby Socks. Thank you. His name is Bobble. Oh, I love Bobbles. Name is Bobble. I love Bobbles. <laughs> How's it feel? How's it feel? <laughs> so, that's rough. All right, does that finish your turn, Bobby? Yeah, I'm out. All right, so you're still up against the crab as it's up there, but you've finished putting this yeah, in. Yeah, I've, I've kind of yeah, positioned as best I can. To, okay. Like, uh, Sarge, it's your turn. At the top of this turn, now the mist have rolled in here, that specter still sits behind you and says, Do not die. I need you to avenge me. <laughs> While the glowing apple still sits around your neck saying, Do not worry, the future will be yours. There's a lot of voices just, just all vying for your attention. <laughs> what, are you, um, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay. Can wow. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm noticing. <laughs> there is the shape of this in the wall. 
Is that what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it may just be a hole. That's, 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 that's what I was joke. asking. Are I you know, are you <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> no, see, I turned here and I said, can I give a big... No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, I'm okay. Like, <laughs> okay, never mind. Scratch that. That's okay. Okay, so I had an old idea, <laughs> and I turned to her, and I th anyways, never mind. Okay, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing a voice. <laughs> got I'm an hearing angel a voice. and a devil. The I got angels, an angel and a devil behind the angels me. Angels and apple and the devil. Okay, so I'm hearing a spirit behind me, and this is talking to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, I'm. It's saying you're okay. This is avenging me. I think this guy. Hold on, let me think about it. It's <laughs> <laughs> very mixed messages, and maybe it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. So we got the crab who's confused, right? The crab is is angry, maybe angry. a little confused. It's clutching one of your friends and has nearly knocked out a few of them. Uh, you're pushed to the back of the cave, and in a precarious scenario, yeah. you have a spectral ghost that's just shouting about vengeance in your ear, and a magical apple that's resting around your neck that sits there thrumming with power. Okay, I'm going to um, eat it. I'm going to eat it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't play. No, no, it's all good. So I'm going to take off the necklace. Okay. And I'm going to take a huge bite of okay. the apple. <laughs> the apple in your hand, the voice says, Seize your destiny. Seize my destiny. I will guide you. I will be your strength. I will be your power. Exactly. And you take a huge bite of it. I take a huge bite of it. <laughs> just screams. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it hurts! It hurts! Oh, God! Yeah. Why are we the apple sauce? You eat that apple! Why did you buy the apple sauce? What I did is it distracted the crowd. <laughs> the crowd both, like, both eyes look around as, as the, yeah. the, the apple is screaming as you're chewing it in your mouth. Yeah. But as you're chewing it, you feel its power surging yeah. through your body. And you. you with it, with enough of this apple, you feel like oh you feel God. like it, indeed its power could transfer to you. And so, as it's screaming, do you continue to eat? Yeah. Do I continue as, to as, eat? Yeah, I'm asking you. Of course. You take another. I can feel <laughs> the apple. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my God! Oh, it hurts. I keep eating. I keep eating. Yeah, Sarge. Yeah, you hear yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Are you, you sure you... you're not the murderer? <laughs> no, not the murderer. Not the murderer. Not the murderer. Yeah. The power. Eventually, the screams of this apple begin to subside as as it is Boy. devoured quickly. Yeah, sure. And as as the, nothing but the core is left, and you drop it in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> That's right. It's you all see like the chest of Sarge begin to glow with his heartbeat, right. and as it does, you feel the strength surge into your body. Yep. Uh, you gain fifty temporary <gasps> hit points. That's right, guys. And you feel like your I'm fifty-six now. Your guys. hands have the strength of a champion. Plus ten. Yeah, uh, yeah, plus ten. What do you want to do on your turn? You are you are in you are enhanced, and you still have the ability to take a turn. What do you want to do? Okay. So I got massive strength. I got sixty. No, not that. Sorry. Hit points. Yeah, yeah. Hit points. So I'm going to rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love it. You, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. scream. <laughs> and, I'm rage. and I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, do a, 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 a somersault. I'm gonna do like a yeah, yeah. thing a towards the crowd. Hell yeah, yeah, just full on like yeah, Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog, leap, <laughs> spin in the air. As Let's the do drums it. are going, and I'm just going to smush the crab. You're gonna smush the guy. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I'm gonna take my hands because yeah. you said they were very strong. You, you, you feel. And I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna still. I'm gonna still do a Goliath situation. Okay. But I got more power this time. Okay. And I'm gonna go right between the eyes. All righty. All right. Yeah. So I need you to make an acrobatics check, but you have an advantage because of the the power that's instilled within you from this apple. That's right. That's right. There still might be a hole for the apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got eight. And one more time. One more time. You have advantage. advantage. Okay. Three. Okay. Eight plus plus six. Plus six. Fourteen. So I, plus six. I got fourteen. Okay, fourteen. So as you leap in the air, uh, your acrobatics. There's there's not a lot of things in your in the the way here. So you flip in the air, and catch like the top of the cavern for a second, grabbing with both of your hands. You look down for your mark as the both the eyes of the crab are kind of looking where you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that point, you go ahead and pull up, and then. Release, taking all the strength, like a downward rocket of a person, aiming towards it with your hands in the air. Now go ahead and make your strike with a double-handed blow from overhead. So roll that now with advantage. Yep, yep, yep. With advantage. That's twice. With advantage. Roll it twice. 
16. Do it again six. just Maybe in case. Maybe you'll get a 20. Maybe you'll get a 20. Mm, come on, critical roll. 17. Okay, that's definitely yeah. a hit. Wham! Like Hulk slamming both arms down onto that's the right. entity. You crack right. into it. Could you roll? Uh, this would be. Could you roll 8d12 <gasps> for me? Oh, 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 I don't even know if Tony knows what a d12 is. So, here, this. I'll, I'll lend you a bunch of 12 sided dice. I, I've, over got, here. I've got, I've got, got it covered. Think, uh, oh, you gotta do it eight times. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I roll eight of these? Yeah, one, two, three, uh-huh. four, here. five, six, seven. And we got a bunch more over here. Oh. Uh, here, take take that one. Here, you just like need one more, right? Yeah. Like there you go. Chris need eight. Yeah, just... Can I do it here? Yeah. What is yeah. this? What is happening? You just roll all those and add them together. Damage. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, That's right. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. There's That's always one. <laughs> <laughs> just re-roll that. I'll roll this. Doesn't count. Okay. Okay. Four. You rolled so good. Oh Did boy. I? Yes. Wonderful. All right. So I got eleven, nine, twenty. Okay, 24, 24, 26, 28, 36, 40, 50. Whoa! 50 points of damage. So as you strike down, your arms actually like split through the crab's armor into the center of its head, and you're now like elbow deep inside yeah. with like the side of its its outer shell kind of yeah. cracking it's in space. seafood night! <laughs> you still have a second attack. What do you want to do? Another, Another attack? attack? He gets two attacks attack. around. I'm going to start drumming just to yeah. empower him I'm even more. <laughs> so you're, you're standing on top of the shell. I'm going to stand very carefully by the exit. <laughs> but elbow <laughs> deep inside of this crab. <laughs> That's right. So this is the... <laughs> So like, roll the d20. That's the d12. That's, That's a, 12. a d12. Yeah. <laughs> they look very similar. Don't we? Think, dude. Thank you for your grace. <laughs> <laughs> this is our show. It's Ten. Ten. You have advantage on this. Roll again because you still have the bonuses from the apple. And I got an advantage. Mean I got another turn. Indeed. Yeah, you know this. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Oh, that's a natural twenty. <gasps> wow. oh, this is gonna be gross. Wow. This is gonna be gross. All right, so go ahead and roll those uh, oh, t twelves oh, again, oh, oh, it's gonna be and so then we gross. double it. Oh my gosh. I get the pretty dice oh again. And then we get to double it. Oh, holy moly! This, this is, is be the so best dark. thing this ever. Be so yeah, dark. pretty cool. It's gonna be so <laughs> gross. Oh god. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these okay. are great. These are great. Twenty-seven. Again. Uh, Thirty-six. Uh, 44, and, uh, 62. 60, 44, 46, 50, 62. 62. 62. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> 62 doubles to uh, uh, 100, 124 <laughs> <laughs> points of damage. Guys, we wow. have the There's like four people. <laughs> how do you want to do this? Oh, yes. oh my gosh. How do I want to do this? Describe how you finish <laughs> off That's this crab. The Your both crab. arms are like inside of its somewhat cracked armor in the front. How yeah, do you yeah, finish right. it off? Well, I got huge strength in my body, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go full, just splice like that. <laughs> you pull in and you, as you tear everything out, just like it is Long John Silver's. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you watch as as Sarge, who is glowing with with. And I got my bib on. <laughs> get it. A, a mystical celestial bib is apparated yeah, around I'm his torso, and, and just. <laughs> <laughs> tears the shell in half. You watch as it just pulls apart into two, place, two right. pieces and immediately crumples into the water itself. Sploosh, sploosh, around. It's, it, the legs kind of twitch and stop moving mm. as there you see Sarge kind of stand in all of his magical, glowing, halfling fury. You turn around I covered. You were a halfling this whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> covered in crab guts. You turn around yeah. to the rest of you, but kind of still like thrumming with the energy yeah. and it immediately fades and you feel nauseous. Well, of course. It's a lot to walk through. I'm even more turned on. I need to talk to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have some problems. Right oh, guys, that was pretty exciting. And that you vomit crazy. into the water. <laughs> <laughs> the bits of the apple itself ejected from you. Mm. The last thing you hear from the apple is, why? Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, less room I start rebels. pulling out crab bits. Let's make some dinner. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Collecting the re- healthy remnants of a massive crab feast. It takes you a few treks, but eventually you can pull them back to the top side and back to the village itself proper. Uh, here, in preparation for the Muse Tide Festival, uh, a massive crab break, uh, or crab bake, 
crab bake, that's the phrase, <laughs> um, is settled as part of the celebration as the rest of you have now become lauded as heroes in showing and proving both through the uh, the leftover bodies of these sirens and this sleeping crab entity to those topside. Mm. Here, uh, along the outskirts of the north shore of this island, the elder approaches you all, celebratory, with a massive bonus. I just want to say, I, I had no idea y'all were this good at what you do, and I'm just, I, if it's all possible, I'd love to keep you uh, on your current salary of 15 gold a day, and maybe just take out more crabs for us, if you don't mind, or? Because I need a little bit of a bonus yeah. tonight. I'm gonna yeah. need to uh, get a little bit of rice, yeah. That's right. Some um, game tickets, something like that would be nice. Free ice cream, yeah, you, you know. There's, there's free ice cream, I could do free ice cream. Yes. That I can do. Yeah. All right. We'll figure it out. A little low. <laughs> <laughs> the glorious ones don't come cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, I get that. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you amongst us, and uh, should any other dangers come to us by the end of this festival, I uh, know who to call, and my first choice ends up uh, falling through like it did. Mm. You've all been fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Those crystals, Should we be concerned <laughs> that the the sirens called the big crab the dreamer, and that's what this whole island is named for? Yeah, that's fine. It's that's fine, probably right? all right. Just all enjoy right. the festival. Okay, cool. People still think I'm a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, do. I, mean, I did. That's yeah. true. That's you true. didn't do much to dissuade that. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true. The festival progresses <laughs> onward uh, with beautiful performances <laughs> and culminating in the the final magical dance number that is called the calling of the dreamer. You can see the symbols and the iconography throughout the various flags of this massive crab guardian that has been here and kept the village safe for hundreds and hundreds of years. Wow. And as, as they finish their dance and the, the spirit of the guardian has come to arise and bless them with another year of prosperity, everyone looks confused as strangely the guardian spirit does not Come when when called. I think you might no. need to go on the lamb from going on the lamb. <laughs> oh no, who did this? Oh no! Exactly. Oh. Did you like eat? Just very quietly eat and have a beer. <laughs> Oh. No one's putting two and two together as they're eating their crab cakes and their crab sandwiches and wondering what this somewhat uh, uh, disappointing end to the festival happens, but everyone kind of claps and cheers. Really the tasty crab. the really soft tasty fireworks, crab. and everyone goes home a little, a little worried. The elder gets extremely drunk and feels like it's his fault. Um, but as the event begins to clear, eventually you see Dr. Dranzel, the orcish performer, return. Short halt, we're moving on. Got a ship passage somewhere to the west. We're thinking maybe somewhere in Tal'Dorei. Oh, uh, the, the band's moving on. Are you with us? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'll, they're gonna find out sooner or later. We might want to leave. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> All right, yeah. the glorious ones will will join. Oh, we're bringing friends along too? Yeah, we might need some bouncers. Why the hell not? I've always wanted to see Tal'Dorei. <laughs> and I've always wanted to uh, get some charm lessons, so maybe this guy could stick around for a You're while. You're up to a great start as it is anyway, Mike. <laughs> and what kind of instrument do you play, friend? Just a... Uh, Kind of the uh, the triangle. <laughs> I, I land on the ground, cast it large, so I'm two feet tall, and I look up at Ran and say, "He casts, he plays the heart string." Oh. oh when, when you got it, you got it. What can I say? <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to have a new promoter anyway. Oh well, mm. at your service. <laughs> Fantastic. Kent right. legally has to have me for two more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. All right, well, let's get on the ship and make our way out. This, uh, this place is starting to get a bit dour. <laughs> Gets his pack over his shoulder, and as you all begin to wander off towards the ship, the mists swirl, and you see a strange spectral shape kind of drifting, staring off towards the back of Sarge. Yeah. Avenge me. Yeah. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes our adventure for today. You guys are so good at this. You really Dude, are. you did great. No, the first time so playing? Yeah. Seriously, it's like, really seriously you guys did so good. You, you went and inside a crab and killed yeah. it. It's like get the Just rules the of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, it's a framework to make fun choices. And so the more comfortable you get with it, but you have a good time regardless. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, Laura and Sam and Talison for coming and helping out with this. Yeah. Uh, Sam Richardson, Tony Hale, Yay! phenomenal yeah. job, and thank you again so much for joining us. This has been so much fun. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember, if you haven't donated to Red Nose Day yet, now is the perfect time. Uh, we'll wait right here while you go to critroll.com slash rednoseday. That's critroll.com slash rednoseday to give right now. 
Um, any amount really helps and adds to have a real impact uh, for children facing poverty. So please do give what you can. Uh, Red Nose Day funds incredible programs bringing essential resources to kids to, in the U.S. and all around the world. Um, but uh, from me, everyone here, and everyone at Critical Role, Critical Role Foundation and Red Nose Day, thank you so very much. We love you, and is it Thursday yet? Good night. Bye.